We're on that one tonight. Oh, hello. I don't Good like evening. that one. Can we be on that one instead? Let's go on that one. Hey. Hello. Good evening. Hello. I always chuckle at the bit where Sean face plants in the field. Oh, yes, jumping off the boat. He, he must watch it a lot if he always chuckles at that <laughs> bit. <laughs> Do you just watch that that one vlog over and over again for Sean's face plant? That's 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 actually good, isn't it? Uh, Kelpies. Yes, they were on uh, there. Uh, Kelpies to you as well, Nico. <laughs> uh, hi, foe. Hi, foe. Yeah. Uh, is that, I don't know if it's something to do with Jack and his beanstalk. I've no idea. I used to know a lad called Jack. Free fire hi fo. Uh, he didn't have a beanstalk. It was more like a button mushroom, to be honest. Uh, Kelvin and Kendall, hi lads. Hope you both had a great weekend. I have to say, I love the new intro. Thank you. Well, I thought I was pushing my luck a bit with the BBC one. To be yeah, honest. we had I to was... change it, really, just in case they started shutting us down. I was waiting for the knock at the door, to be honest. <laughs> the man with his briefcase and his papers. So I thought we'd better stop using the BBC one before we got into trouble. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Let's get on with the shenanigans. Malaki and Tom Fulra. I, I don't know if you can tell, but, but Sean's rubbing his face a lot today. Which... No, I had something in my eye then. I've got something in my eye. He's got something in his ears because he's always shouting. Oh, nanas. I could do with a nana. That'd stick in me ear, wouldn't it? That'd stop me here. Your glasses are filthy. I can see that. Show the viewer your glasses. Can you see? Let me show the viewer. Can... Let me show that. I don't know if it'll show up on it. This is what this is what it looks like. I can't like. see now. Well, I'm going to show you what. Oh, that's, that's what they see. Ooh. They see green. Ooh. That's what they... Ooh, look. Look at me. Ooh. 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 Yeah, they are filthy. Come here. <laughs> Just give me them. <laughs> he gets on at me about wiping it on curtains, but he uses my T-shirts to clean his glasses. Got another lens to do. All yeah, right, yeah. Is Dylan still in the countdown? In an older version, he was, or have I missed it? He's not in this this countdown, but sorry, I'm spinning my ring. It's not clicking. It's me with my fidget spinner. Uh, 
Oh, that'll do. No, he's not. I don't think he's in that one. No, he isn't. No, he's, he's not in that one. I keep changing it, to be honest. It's a bit of a, a mind soother making these countdowns, which is why there's been loads of them lately. So it'll probably be in a future one, to be honest. Uh, Sandra, you says, earworms now in my head. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> That's what it's there for. Hello, DRS Exploring. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Cheers from Vancouver in Canada. Uh, Nico's son's called Jack. Really? Yeah. Good name is well, Jack. Well, so she says anyway, yeah. Uh, Lynn says, hope you're both well. We are both well, thank we you. Are. Hello from Congleton. Wow. That's, Congleton. That's a, a while, isn't it? That's a while ago now, since we were there. I remember everywhere we ever went being... Sean Dunn. I don't remember what time I got Sh up this morning. Sean Dunn. So, Congleton, if you remember... It was on that bend, wasn't it? No. No, that were Bug Lawton. That's where we moored. But then if you carry on a little bit, it straightens out and it's like in a cutting and that's where Congleton is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And where we moored, there were a pub. Do you remember? Yes. Up, up some steps. I do now, yeah. And a railway. Yeah, you remember that, don't you? I do now. Uh, we're, we're both very well, thank you. Yes, thank you. D Mr. D exploring. DRS Exploring. There you go. He, sh he should have that as his channel name. <laughs> I would. Uh, Ian and Lee. Hello, Ian and Esther. Hello. Hello, you two. Uh, it's, it's, all, it's all the YouTubers watching us tonight. Trev's back. It's getting ideas, you see, for content. That's it. Uh, evening, guys. Great. Inter Thank you. It is a great. I do like that. It is a bit of an earworm, isn't it? It is. Eh? Uh, hi from sunny York, Maine. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy. Well, York, I didn't know there were a York in Maine. No, I didn't. Uh, another one with. Uh, there's a lot of. Uh, the Americans like St. Patrick's Day, forgetting that we're Scottish and not Irish. Yes. I think I can understand why they're making that kind of connection. Why? Well, we're thick. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not kind of saying that the Irish. Are th oh God, I'm, I'm digging. What is that? It's four minutes past seven, and I'm. All, I'm wait. Here we got two bloody. Thumbs down already, thanks for that. I'm going to show Those up two tonight. thumbs down we've got came on before we even started. Yeah. It's hilarious. It's brilliant. Peter Lewin, hello. Good, well, good morning to you. Good, good e evening good, from us. Good evening from us. Uh, hello from Donny. Doncaster. Love it, Donny. Uh, Lou at Fernley, hello. Good evening to you. Happy St. Gertrude's Day. Patron saint of cats. Really? I've never been a pussy person, have you? <laughs> really? What? Well, we had cats when we were younger, didn't we? But why is that funny? Go on, go on. You thinking I like Mrs. Slocum's pussy? Is that where? Is that where you're going with this? Yeah, I thought it might. You disgust me. You honestly do. Hi, guys from a cold Michigan. Ooh, chilly. Uh, Joe, but is that Butchler or Bushler? It's no T, so I'd say Bushler. Bushler. Hello, boys. Oh, Bushler. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Know. Enough with the St. Patrick's Day. That's boring me already. I don't. That's no offence. It's just, it's not us, is it? No. What can we celebrate today instead of St. Patrick's Day? <sighs> I don't know. I don't we can know. celebrate Sean's got home from London. I have. London and Liverpool. You had a lovely time, didn't you? Do you want to I see... I absolutely did. It was... I was knackered when I got back. Do you want to see some photos of Sean in London? Are you going to tell him who you went with? I went with Sue. Who's Sue? Explain who Sue, Sue is. Sue is Sue from Kevin Sue, who built our boat. So that's, who built Silver Fox. That's Mrs. Bickerstaff. Mrs. Bickerstaff. Well, she's not really called Bickerstaff, but that's what she will. That's what we call in her because she doesn't like people walking up to her in the co-op. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, sh and screaming foxes afloat, does she? She's, <laughs> no, she don't. she's liable to punch you in the neck, to be honest, <laughs> if you did that. She looks so sweet and innocent there. Don't be fooled. <laughs> she is a lovely woman, but do not mess with her. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, that, that, that was Sean and Sue outside the Abba concert. We had a and, fab time. And that was inside. That I, I turned round just two minutes before it started because... You're not able to take photos once it's started, otherwise they eject you. But that, it was, it's massive, it's, it's amazing. You got right to the front, didn't you? I did. You got, and if, if you look really closely, like really closely, she doesn't look impressed, does she? <laughs> She's like, oh my God, I'm being photographed again. Did you know that? Did you know she was looking at you? No, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, bless him. And uh, he even had his hair cut specially, didn't he? He went to the hairdressers. Oh, God. When... The, the day before. I forgot about that. And got his hair. And he went in and he said, he said to Erin, our hairdresser, he says, uh, can you make me look like which one? 
<laughs> you mean which one? Oh, well, from that Abbott. One. Oh! <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I've sent you these. <laughs> oh my god! You're not learnt after 32 no. years. Which one's that supposed to be then? It looks like Phil from Narrowboat Journeys. It to be does, honest. yeah, but it's supposed to be a Bjorn wig. Is that is that supposed to be Bjorn? Is it? That's supposed to be Bjorn. Yeah. All right, and and you had a good time, didn't you? Absolutely. Did you drink plenty? Oh, <laughs> yes. You did. Do you know how we know we drink plenty? Because he were asleep most of the way home on the train. Oh. <laughs> Sue sent you that. <laughs> a killer. I've got a killer. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> there you go. So that was Sean's week. So that's why there was no vlog yesterday, Saturday, Friday, whenever we release these vlogs. That's why we're doing live tonight, not last night. Yeah, we've, we're missing all these all these comments. Look, hello, everybody. I'm going I'm to scan down to the bottom. Uh, Joe had a little dog and his name was Jack. That sounds like the first line of a limerick, doesn't it? It does. Like that man. How far behind are we? That man from Nantucket. Uh, Don't you think we should get onto the subject we're talking about? What Abba? Well, people are going to be commenting. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going down. I'm, go I'm, I'm having a look at them now. Is that all right with you? Sorry, sorry, Maud. I'm having a look. Come on, you, you talk. So I can't talk, and I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm looking. There you go. I'll, I nearly texted you, Alfie Barlow, earlier on, because uh, I was, I was gonna. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, I, I'm work. Long story short, I'm working on a new thing, which is called. Excuse my language. Bollocks to anxiety, and it's like a, a visual podcast, which we're going to be starting in the next week or five, uh, and we're going to be kind of interviewing people. Uh, and so I nearly texted Alfie Barlow to see if he wanted to be on tonight's thing because I wanted to check out the new screen that we're going to be using. So this is the new screen. You can see because it says guest name. <laughs> uh, but that will be the screen when we do Bollocks to Anxiety. And I was going to get Alfie Barlow on and, 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 and test oh, it out tonight. It's a pity we didn't do that. It is a pity we didn't do that, isn't it? So uh, there you go. We'll have to wait for that one. We'll have to get him on one day, won't we? Yeah, we will. Uh, evening to you. Uh, celebrate Sunday. That's what we, we could do, couldn't we? Uh, Mark it waiting. Hello, Carl Hancocks. Hello, Carl. Thank you. Uh, uh, Ian says, uh, "When you, you will you get a thumbs up from me? Maybe introduce a cat onto the croft. They are so affectionate and non-judgmental to their owners. Uh, what? What? Affectionate and non-judgmental? Cats are more judgmental than like." Anything. Anything, aren't they? <laughs> uh, Dave, uh, evening to you. Love the intro. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Claudia and, and lots of others saying, oh, wow, you've been to Habba. Habba, how was it? It was amazing. Awesome. I've been twice. Come on, do you want more than that? Want more? Yeah. That's it. It's awesome. It looks very, very, very real. It's just, it, it's actually like they're stood there on stage. It's really good. I would recommend going. And it's not expensive, it's, especially if you go on the dance floor. Which it's only you about... Did. You did, didn't you? On the you? dance floor, it's only about 70 quid. Only. But I think that's cheap for a concert. We're not eating Thursday, Friday, Saturday next week. Some concerts, you pay two, three hundred pounds. Uh, Nicola Ellis, are my comments showing? Nope. No. No. <laughs> Go on. Hello, Andrea. Oh, my old school pal there. Uh, hey up, you two beauties. Hope me Sean didn't get his yellow submarine out in Liverpool. It's not yellow. Is she talking? Is, is she being rude again? Yes. All oh, right, it's big. It's got that big purple end, hasn't it? <laughs> Your submarine. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. A big mushroom-shaped head. Uh, hi, you two. What did Colin do? What did you do, Colin, while Sh Sean was away? Uh, I, I, I was working. Uh, I played my, uh, my my PlayStation and I ate lots and lots of things that I shouldn't be eating. Yeah, we did. That, that was basically A it. cupboard full. And taking the dogs out for a walk. Uh, oh, look at this. Liz Holmes says, I was Abbott. Thanks to my son for my foxes afloat cushion. Look at that. You can see that you can see your foxes afloat cushion. Look. Oh, God, yes. That is so cool. Awesome. That is. So, it would be better if it was my head because then she could sleep on my head. Don't she? And drool all over it like you do. Nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael says, I've been to see Kylie live at the Aphrodite tour a few years ago. 
Yeah, she's apparently very good live. Uh, Sean looks good with long hair. No, I don't. Well, he's growing it for the wedding. No, I'm not. Hey, you might have a boy crush on you. you boy crush hair. on me? Well, he's only a lad, isn't he? He's our Alfie. Oh. Get your hair grown. <laughs> yeah. You'll have him chasing after you at wedding. Oh, my God. Looks more like Elton John, though, says Organ Grinder. <laughs> uh, Goldie agrees with that. He says more like Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Trez back in my chat uh, it says Abba show is amazing can't stop seeing it amazing technology it is it's will, brilliant will isn't it? you, yeah Trevor it's brilliant will you go again I would go again yes uh, Nick says looks like Elton John <laughs> there's a thing going on here isn't there <laughs> uh, it's trying to snow in uh, in West Michigan I thought that said Bell End then it says Mary Belled oh dear uh, Ail from Doncaster hello Andy Dyson Hello. From Doncaster, that said Huddersfield. Hello, sorry Huddersfield. Hello, Sharon Bamba. Uh, hello, Sharon. Is your husband there? Probably. I'm, I'm going to take this off. Because if you can hear clicking, it's me spinning my ring. That's not a euphemism. Uh, Della says, good evening. I've been enjoying your channel so much. That's a that's brill. She forgot, to, she forgot to put that I sent you a big hefty tip. Look, I've been enjoying your end channel so much that I've sent you a big hefty tip. You're tip, out of it tonight, aren't tip you? Tip of what? I don't know. You're not quite with it tonight. This is going to be hard work for me tonight, isn't it? No, it's not. It's fine. Oh, I've got an apology to make as oh, well. Why? For last week. Why? Oh, right, yeah. Because a couple of people texted in after and said, uh, that ended ab abruptly. You all right? Well, I actually, what I was gonna do while Sean was away, I was gonna, I was gonna create like a phone that would come on the screen that said uh, Lewis Irons calling, and it would be like vibrating and ringing, and I was gonna say that Lewis was ringing me so that we had to <laughs> cut the live vlog shot. But even though I'm quite good at editing for for what I do, I couldn't do that, <laughs> and it didn't look very good, so I abandoned that. So no, the truth is, I, I just, I, I just. just wasn't feeling it. I was a bit unwell. Yeah, I'd had a bit of a virus that I was getting over, uh, but I wasn't over it enough. So after an hour of sat here, just started to feel unwell, didn't you? Complete, just not non-stop babbling like I do with this, and you can't see it, but there's a bloody great light behind you that shines on us. Because if I turn this light off, we oh, we look awful. <laughs> So we have to have that. We have light to on. have it on. Uh, and after about an hour or so, I was starting to feel a bit drained and a bit, a bit faint and a bit nauseous. Uh, and so, uh, so we, we went. We had to finish it. But I'm fine now. So don't start with all you don't. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. Yeah. Because I'll block you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan C. Hello. Hello, uh, how did, Dan. Sorry I missed the last few live shows. You are both an inspiration. Inspiration to what? Uh, me, to do what? Me to creativity and you to alcohol. Alcohol. I haven't got alcohol tonight. Just so you know, Dan. Vodka and orange. It's not. It's orange and yeah. water. Yeah. Bury it. Bury it. Bury it is. Uh, that's great, Alfie. Says Sue. Have they just chatted to each other, I these think, people? I think so. Nice haircut, Sean. You look very smart. What, now, or...? Well, I, I don't know, because we're, we're quite... People are talking about that 70 quid, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scan down to the bottom to catch up, uh, and then you can, you can uh, put your uh, comments on again. Uh, Patricia says, anti-anxiety ring. Spin and click. Yeah, it's, it's, my anti, it's, it's, it's my little spinny ring, look. And it's called a ratchet ring. Uh, I'm not going to say how or where I got it from because we're not that sort of channel and I don't want people to think we're sponsoring it. But if you listen carefully and and I just can't stop spinning it. Well, take it off while we're on here. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Jenny Sherwood, evening. I always call you Jenny in Jennifer. I'm sorry. You just tell me if you don't agree with that because I'll probably not take any notes anyway. Uh, thanks for doing a live tonight. I was wondering how I was going to cope without my weekly fix of Foxes Afloat. You could have just watched a rerun. You could have gone back in the catalogue. Could have done it. <laughs> in could've fact, done. do that when we finish this. Mm. Uh, thanks to the discussions of Lewis Irons on these chats. LinkedIn now send me notifications of Lewis's feet. <laughs> 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 oh, dear me. Do you know what would be nice if, if you actually all got in touch with Lewis and say that we now follow you because of Colin at Foxes Afloat? Yeah. 
No, don't. Please. I want him to notice me. Oh, for God's sake. I want him to notice me. Not like him Not like him from who we'd liked from the kilts. Oh, no, he's awful. He's, he's no, we, we don't know him, do we, as a person, but he's just, yeah. But we like We both like Lewis, don't we? He's a nice bloke. He's a nice bloke. Uh, yeah, Alfie says he will join the chat next time. Excellent. We've got to. We've got to. We've got to we'll sort, have to get in touch with you, mate. Sort that out. Uh, Patricia says, "Be kind to your liver." I am today. It's no alcohol day today. Like one day out of a year. I didn't have any yesterday either. Because I had to drive once I got off the train. Mm. Happy to be called Jenny. There you go. Evening, chaps. Hope you're both well. Shaky. Yes, we are. Thank you, Shaky the Shaky Gent. Shaky the Gent. Uh, uh, Andrea says, Colin, and for my next trick, I will spin my ring. She's quite naughty. She's very naughty. She's quite naughty. If we give you a microphone at the wedding, do you fancy being the act? Because we're having trouble finding... She'd make a great comedian. Yeah, we're having trouble finding a huh? comedian, aren't we? We'd have to have a good beat machine. You'd have to be quick with it because she can swear. Oh, no, no. It's, 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 I've warned anybody that's taking kids... Sorry, I'm trying to burp without being obvious that I'm trying to burp. We're back, well, very obvious. I'd be really good on news at that, wouldn't I? Because I'd probably be just... I'd be talking about the sort of death and war and this and that, and then I'd probably just go... <laughs> People would love it. I'd be ace. Uh, oh, look who's on. Oh, Dave Bamber's here. Dave Bamber's here. Hello, Sue and Kev. Did you see us from the beginning? I put some photos on of us. You got well, Colin did. you got to watch from the beginning now. Cause you yeah, did, you have. You missed it. You missed, missed it. it. She's missed. We were being so nice about you as well, weren't we? No. Talking about you punching people in the neck and things like <laughs> that. <laughs> Just burp better out than in. Yes, that's it. It, it totally is. I was burping all the time in London. Sue just kept giving me a filthy look. I'm not... So You're burping again. I'm, I'm doing it, look. Just... <laughs> As you get older, you do burp and fart more. Everybody does. Well, you certainly do. Uh, kudos, good to all. She's talking about... Is she a liver salesman or something? I do you think, think she is. Yeah, I think, I think she's an advocate for livers, isn't she? I I tell she you what's be. nice, chicken livers. Not as nice as chicken necks. You like a good chicken neck, don't you? <laughs> a chicken neck. <laughs> I think Alfie's been drinking. Uh, where am I going? Do we need a minute's silence for Sean's liver? Well, we had that last you know, time. No, he says for CN's liver. Well, he's typing fast. That's why he's probably got some dirty movie on his other screen. So he's having to type <laughs> so, one hand. He's having to use one hand to type. Watching one on the other. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it off. You'll go blind. Honestly, you will go blind. Let proof. <laughs> uh, is she a filthy mind? Who, she, Andrea? I think she's yeah, talking uh, about Andrea, yes. isn't she? Uh, what sort of transportation do you have since you sold the Jeep? Uh, we have a car, don't we? We have a car and we have a quad bike to get around for all the bees around the croft. Mm. Been to see the bees today. Uh, so about half of them had the very first inspection, which is where I take the cover off and have a look inside and take the frames out. Because it was warm today. Because it was, it was, it was the first day that it's been warm enough to go in there, uh, and and every single one that I looked at is fine. They've all got a queen and they've all got brood starting already. Uh, some of them have got. I said a couple of weeks ago that they all had loads of food left. Some of them don't have hardly they any. All. So luckily we've been giving them fondant uh, so that it's a good job we did, otherwise some of them would have been in trouble. Uh, so I've been topping that up as well today. But, yeah, they're all fine, all good. Uh, we've been here since 6.30. 6.30? We didn't start until 7. Well, they might have been watching. Uh, <laughs> Act-wise, would you like a drag queen? I could send you details for a couple I've worked with. No, I don't think we're bothered about that, have we? No, we're not bothered about drag queens. That was we? like our youth, wasn't it? Yeah, we, we were... yeah, we used to like watching them when we were young. Yeah, because they always used to drag us on the stage. Yeah, I think we're more into like eighties boy bands, so that we can kind of point and laugh and see how badly they've aged, <laughs> can't we? <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> He's laughing because it's true. it's true. Because we nearly booked one or two of them, to be honest. Yeah, we did. I'm not going to say. I don't think we should embarrass them, should we? But let's just say one of them. There wasn't five anymore. There was only two. <laughs> 
you think I gave that one away? I think so. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh dear. dear. Uh, Patricia's coming to take your liver and shove it on the black market. I told oh, you, she, she's yeah. a liver salesman. Uh, Phil, better to burp uh, and taste it and fart well, and waste it. Oh, I'll give up about that. Auntie Sullivan. Auntie Sullivan's on. Happy St. Patrick's Day. In the States, we go to the pub and a parade. I'm wow. here, so the menagerie are, and I are sending our dollars for two pints to the foxes. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. And it is two pints, isn't it? Worth now. Twenty dollars, yeah, it's about two pints, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Uh she has liver damage and that's why she cares. Oh right. There you go. Right. Uh Solo Life Portugal is telling Alfie wipe his keyboard down. <laughs> And he's replied, Dettel wipes. <laughs> no, he's not. Un I was just going to say, he's, he's uninvited to the wedding. No, he's not. We've, we've uninvited enough people to the wedding this week. <laughs> but, uh, uh, oh, God. <laughs> I can't tell you we that story. I can't tell you that story. I'm sorry. But we can't uninvite him for that. I mean, no, we can't. What is he? How old is he? 12? I think he's 19, 20. Is he, is he that old I now? I think he's 19 or 20, yeah. I remember when I was that old, it was all over the bloody bedhead behind me and all over <laughs> the wall and everything. Uh, chilly 23 degrees in Portugal. Chilly 23 degrees. Chilly. Try living in the islands. It's not got above double figures this year so far. No, it hasn't. I don't think. Well, well apart it from today. It did today. It got to a, yeah, it did today. But uh, uh, Patricia loves the BIs. Uh, Reese says, what ABBA song did you enjoy dancing to at the ABBA concert? All of them. I loved all of them. I like the opening one they do, and it's called The Visitors. It's really good. It opens the show really well. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm, dribbling. I'm dribbling. Not, not, not there. Not I nearly there. said the P word. On there. I nearly said the P word. Yeah, The Visitors. It opens the show, and it's brilliant. I bet you didn't dance to I Still Have Faith in You. No, you sort of stand there swaying. And smooch. Did you smooch with Sue? Yeah. I bet she smells nice, doesn't she? She does smell nice. I bet she does. Yeah, she, she looks like, does. Yeah, her hair smells. And I keep wanting to smell her hair, but I don't want to get like, like where she thinks I'm <laughs> weird. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I always get this impression that she's got really nice oh, smelling hair. God. She smells lovely I always. Bet, I bet she does. Uh, I don't know. Michael likes Westlife, I think. Yeah. Uh, Kelvin and Kendall before. Before what? Like, we're so far behind. It's it's our it's our fault. Oh my word! Look at this, Peter Oh Lewin. my god! Uh, hi, gentlemen. Told you, Sarah and I would find a way. I know what that means. What you does that, that mean? Uh, the pier. What about it? Look at the name. I know the name. Right, the pier. Yeah. Peter and Sarah. Yes, I know the pier. I know. I'm sorry, he's thick as... I know who they are. Right, he's thick as one short plank. I know who they are. Right, well, I don't... Uh, Find a way. I'll tell you later. Right, I'm, I'm going to put you on mute because it, it's just going to get annoying. Oh, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Is it any wonder I sweat? It's just so much hard work sometimes. It was a good lunch, wasn't it? It was lovely. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Hello again from Liverpool. Hello. Uh, the Wurzels. The we Wurzels. Could... Ah, that's what we're... I think they're talking about acts now, aren't they? Well, we've got a band. Yes, we have. Not a famous band, uh, but, but we a have... top band. We have got a good band. We're not going to give you any details because people are trying to spoil the wedding. But we have got a band. Uh, and But, but yeah, I th I th I th and we've got a couple of other... Types of entertainment that we're not going to tell you about either. Have we? Yeah. It's news to oh. me. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> this trip has done me head in. <laughs> He's doing seen... me head in. You should have seen, you should have seen me uh, the day we got back to Liverpool from London. Oh my God. I had to go to bed. Really? Yes. You didn't tell me that. Only for about... No, in fact, I didn't go to bed. I went and had a jacuzzi bath. Oh, why? They've got a jacuzzi bath. Why weren't I invited? You didn't want to come. To London? I could have stayed in jacuzzi bath and waited for you. Yeah, you could have done. I could have done. You could have had a right laugh with Kev. 
actually, yeah, I'm glad I stayed here. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be swearing at you now. He knows, he knows I don't mean that. He knows I would never say that. I can just see Colin as the Bay City Rollers tribute act. Bye, bye, baby. Well, how many were there in Bay City goodbye. Rollers? Oh, about half a dozen, I think. Wouldn't I have to have them things? Do you remember that they had in 70s? They had, they had their flares on and tartan and no, all No, let me finish. Them things with sticks with other people so that you're like, Six oh, people. I know what you mean, yeah. Yeah, I could be that, couldn't I? That a bit Bay City Rollers. Uh, hello, I thought my screen was failing and then I cleaned my glasses. <laughs> Same here. I sometimes feel <clears throat> like Sean gets pick, picked on a bit because he enjoys a drink. Actually, can, can, I, can I reword that comment to make it a little bit more relevant? <laughs> I actually think what he meant to say, what Crisley, sorry, I actually think what Crisley meant to say was, I sometimes feel like Sean gets pickled because he enjoys a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, ha I, I really don't mind having the mickey taken out of me. It's, don't mind it at all. We got a message after, I think it was the last live chat, last Saturday, it might have been the Saturday before, and we got a message from somebody saying, uh, uh, I'm going to be careful how I say this, it was last week's vlog, and we got a, we got a message from somebody saying uh, that they they didn't like, that, that they felt that they they didn't like being talked about like that, and they were very upset that, that they were being made fun of in front of everybody, in front of so many people. And... I, I, I mean, I apologise. I said, that, that's fine. We will never speak about you again, ever. Uh, and we're sorry if you were upset by that, didn't we? Uh, but I think we take the piss out of ourselves more than we take piss out of anybody else, don't we? We do. We really do. And I think people know yeah. what they're expecting. If you're watching this, expect it. And it's just... Oh, laugh. it's Mrs. Lady Unicorn's it's birthday. Just a laugh. I'm going to sneeze. Getting ready to go out and celebrate my birthday. <laughs> Hope you're both okay. <coughs> Are you all right there? Tickling me nose. Have you been sniffing k again? k <laughs> I fancied. I fancied a bit of k all day with a lick. <clears throat> I don't know whether I fancy a licorice dipper or a lollipop. Okay. When I were a kid, my mum used to buy us two... Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to say that word, am I? Uh, when I were a kid, I used to get two ounce of, of, of American soda k -Li. Uh, American soda? American soda. And we used to get either a lolly or a licorice stick. Uh, but it was like, you can't get enough. And I just used to go and get a dessert spoon. And it was gone. Spoon yeah, it was gone. In like, yeah, like three goes and that was two ounces of it gone. Uh, right, yeah, that's two pints. US pints, here we go. US pints, <laughs> 16 <laughs> ounces of Guinness on tap. I don't in, know what size ours are. I, I think a, a pint, pint is a pint. I think it? a pint's a pint. I'm, we're probably going to get corrected now. Uh, happy birthday, Lady Unicorn. Hello, happy birthday. Well, Nico says that, so I don't know how Nico talks. Like, Hello, Nico. Well, Mrs. Lady Unicorn, we're above Andy Sullivan. Yeah, I said that. Oh, did you? We All read right. that one out. Did we? Yeah. Right. Keep oh, yeah, up. we did that one nearly you sneezing, sure? wasn't it? Yeah, you were nearly sneezing. <sighs> Uh, ooh, bat, si bat, bat City Rollers. Tartan Trousers, there's an idea. I, that, yeah. <laughs> bat City Rollers. Bat City sounds a bit like bat shit, doesn't it? <laughs> bat City Rollers. Bat <laughs> Shitty Rollers, Tartan Trousers. Uh, the, the, the people who are making our our wedding outfits also do Tartan Trousers. and They, they do. They don't look right for some reason. I don't think they do, no. Tartan always looks better on a kilt. I know that Cam's very tall, isn't he? He's about six foot two six foot four something no, like that five foot ten is he but he's very tall no he's not he's 180 something centimeters I don't know. i'm five foot ten and i'm only 178 oh, he's tall, so, so he's a little bit taller than me but he looks very leggy in them doesn't he and you yeah. see the others and they're Horrible. just i don't they don't, they don't, don't like no i don't like tartan trousers no uh there you go oh, oh hey oh troubles here oh here she is my sister evening from us hello sis are you sober? I hope you're having a better weekend this weekend. She drank a birthday present the other day. I know, she sent me photos on WhatsApp. She <laughs> sent me them as well. <laughs> she probably sent them to everybody in her address book. She was probably that well gone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Select everyone. <laughs> a bottle of Moe to herself. I'm, I'm replying, thinking, oh, she's engaging in a conversation and she's probably got to <laughs> 200 other people on the go as well. <laughs> Auntie Sullivan was in the UK years ago when ABBA Gold CD was released. It wasn't being released in the States for another month, so I took it home with me. Brilliant. I hope you didn't get reported. 
<laughs> we all like uh, Aladdin. No idea. I have no idea. No idea. Have you been drinking, Ian? Uh, the only thing I've got in common with Aladdin is rubbing things. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about it, really. <laughs> what? Except with me, a genie don't come out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ali Tasker says uh, Ali Tasker sounds like that thing you used to say when you want it to snow more don't you Ali Ali Asta yeah that's yeah. the one yeah uh, <laughs> have you got flowers sorted for the wedding I did flowers for my son and son-in-law's wedding happily child yes we're all sorted yeah all done thank really you. all done but thank you very kind offer thank you so much but yeah we, 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 we're all sorted with everything we just want a comedian but I think Andrea's up for that to be honest yeah if she wants that room and some food, then uh, she's going to have to get used to a microphone, isn't she? Stage lighting. <laughs> Two days before wedding now. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't come. <laughs> uh, organ Grinder says, uh, Big ABBA fan here. Hard to pick a favourite, but would have to be I Wonder. Oh, yeah, they didn't sing that. Did they not? No, they didn't sing that one. I don't think I've ever heard that one. Get the crankies, says Sharon Bamba. Are they still alive? I don't know if they're still alive. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Did Lady Unicorn. First, did she become first minister? Have a drink on me for my birth, for her birthday. Oh, for her birthday, yes. Okay. Thank you, Thank Mrs. You. Lady Unicorn. Uh, He's the thickest. He's like... You see, I get it from all sides. My husband, my sister. <laughs> Because we care. Because you care. It's because we care. That's why it is. Yeah. We look after you in our own ways. Yeah, but I'm not as much of a lush as my sister. You are exactly <laughs> as much of a lush as your sister. You are. You can open a bottle of whiskey at the beginning of the week and then on Saturday you're going, there's eh, not, not much in these <laughs> bottles now, is there? <laughs> Uh, Michael, John Dennis is in the jacuzzi, and I have been called a floozy. <laughs> who, have been, who are we calling floozies? I can't I don't remember. Know. Uh, Andrea says, uh, Michelle, I used to eat coal. Oh. Go on, you take this. I can't remember that. I actually don't remember that, but if I did, yeah, I'm a pick. <laughs> I don't remember that. What are you swearing at, Sue? What was that for? She's swearing at me. <laughs> What, what's be, why are you swearing at me, Sue? <laughs> oh, they're all talking to each other now, look. He yeah, they are. Hiya, Michelle. Oh, everybody that's going to the wedding are talking to each other now. Uh, please don't tell me the other acts don't include balloon animals. Oh, the trauma is real. What is, <laughs> what is it about balloon animals? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Right, uh, so we were we were talking about Sean eating coal. Oh God, yes! I found uh, a photo. I, th I think this is this is how good I am. This is how good I am. I think we found a photo of oh. Sean and his sister. I don't think his sister's eating coal. It looks like a toast, actually, or a biscuit it or was a, a rusk. biscuit. But we had actually been playing in the coal house. But that I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on there. That is definitely a coal face. Yeah, we've been playing in the coal house on that photo. We were outside my auntie's back door. Oh, God. That's me and my sister. He doesn't look any different, does he? He doesn't look any different at all. <laughs> so are you, are you going to grow your hair like that for wedding again? Absolutely. Then? <laughs> I'll feel like it. Yeah, he probably would. <laughs> Uh, Cameron says hi from Birmingham. Love the vids. Always make me laugh. Thank you. Uh, Ken Holmes says any relation to Cam Holmes? That'd be awkward, wouldn't it? It would be. We do yeah. like him really. Uh, hello, I'm watching on a cruise ship in the middle of North Atlantic. Uh, watch out for icebergs because we once knew, we saw this film once, didn't we? It did. Yeah. It didn't end well. Uh, <laughs> Rebecca Strong watching at home. Ooh. Laughter is the best medicine in life. Absolutely shaky. Well, I don't know. A good dose of antibiotics can... Uh... <laughs> so we were told, anyway. So we were told. Yeah. Sherbet dib dabs. Sherbet dib dab, yes. Oh, I remember to them as well. Whatever happened to banter and having a laugh? Too many people get affected these days. Grow Correct. A, grow a pair and have a laugh. Totally. Uh, correct. I totally agree with that. Uh, go on, one for you. Uh, oh, oh. 
Michelle is saying hello to Nico. Hi, Nico. Hope you're well. Especially listening and talking to those two madheads. Shall we see some more? Some more. Oh, he's on. putting more photos <laughs> on of me. Look at the state of me. Is that a cold sore? Yes. You are, because you have cold sores, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I've had them all my life. But yeah, look, you can tell my mum used to cut my hair, can't you? <laughs> you actually look thinner there than you do now. Because I am. Oh, it's just that forehead you've got. Oh, before I've always had that high forehead. Proper Aunt yeah, McPartlin can... forehead going on, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, like you can there. tell my mum used to cut my hair. That's brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear me. Does, yeah, you just, you, those eyes are exactly the same. Your eyes are Apart just, from the bags. Apart from the bags underneath, but yeah. Uh, oh, Nico's Welsh, so she's got a Welshy accent. Oh, lovely. I oh, love the Welsh accent. That's brilliant. Right, we're going we're gonna to scroll down a little bit because uh, I, I, I don't want behind. I don't want to get too behind. We've missed the first half hour. Don't tell them. <laughs> it was half a bottle of mo What do you mean half a bottle? You had the whole bottle. Half a bottle. I have my picture of, my, a picture of me eating cold, but not you. There you can be just seen it. Told you, Alfie Barlow, I'd like a picture of you oh, with long hair. Oh, give up. Oh, there's a thing going on here. Do you want to see a hunky photo of Sean? A hunky one? Yeah. I mean, oh, he's, God, no. No, I can't show that one, actually, because of that look. Yeah, you can't. I can if I do that. Yeah, you can if you do that. Hang on, i just, uh, there you go. Are you ready for this? Look at that. That was a New Year's Eve party. Yeah. It was were like a, a strip tease competition or like a pass for parcel. I can't remember, but I remember it were a, a New Year's Eve in, at the ambulance station in South Kirby in West Yorkshire. Had you hurt your shoulder? No, <laughs> no. I, just, I couldn't get the shirt off. All right. You can see it stuck round, the, the cuff yeah. stuck round my hands. Is the guy behind you just about to go in the shower? <laughs> That would a laugh. <laughs> oh dear, people liking your photos. Look, uh, some people, some people disliking. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Nope, That's, fine. That's fine. We love our trolls, our biggest we fans. Do. We do. We've got five this we week. Absolutely do. You keep clicking that down button. We love it. Crackers. <laughs> Hello from Matt Lock. Matt Lock. Uh, Sean looks so cute in the photos. Uh, we love you, Sean, but that's not a forehead, that's a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Peter says, Sarah says it's time for some baby Colin photos. Oh, you got to find some baby Colin photos. Oh, dear. Come on, then. You take over the mouse, then. Let's see what we can Oh, find. dear. Oh. Michael John Dennis thinks I'm a yummy hunk. Oh, there you a go. A yummy hunk. There you go. I was a mere child back then. Nico Sane, twit woo. Are you saying that to Sherlock I or think, to I me? I think she's saying that to Sherlock, because I can... <laughs> he doesn't actually twit, he just twoos, doesn't he? Sherlock. <laughs> Told you. You got a fan. Sean's got a fan. <laughs> Behave yourself, Alfie. <laughs> Do you want to see Colin? Oh, ain't he sweet? Hey, ain't he sweet? 1996. No, no it wasn't 1996. <laughs> <laughs> that would have said that was 1973. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. A lot 72 of a lot... or 73, because oh. you were only tiny. A lot of years ago, anyway. Uh, nice toga photo, says Brenda. <laughs> uh, Kath says, I want Sue to be a guest star on the live chat for the stories. All right, who's this then? Yeah, Dave Flynn. Is that who that was? He's looking. He's looking for the photo again. Now. I'm trying to find it. I have to be very careful because there's a naked man in that photo, <laughs> so I have to crop the photo. Oh yes, it is Dave Flynn. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is Dave how Flynn. Can, how can you tell that she just recognised people naked as she's seen that many people naked? Yeah, they live in Australia now. There's a lot of naked people in this photo. If I zoomed out, we would probably get demonetised. Yeah, so he, I'm gonna, he lives in Australia now. I'm going to get rid of that one. Oh, my God, baby Colin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have more topless photos of Sean in hunk form? Let's have a look. Oh, God. 
Oh, come on, you've got... I know, there's, I know there is one in there when, when we're uh, on holiday and I'm sat at the top of a fountain, you remember? Mm. Let's see if we can find any. Andrea says, Sean's forehead, <laughs> like that, when my mum smacked him <laughs> with a lollipop stick when he was naughty. <laughs> Your mum was really strict, a really strict lollipop lady. Oh, here's one of him looking really handsome. I, I'm not putting that on. No, don't put that one on. Oh, oh my God. I think I was about 14 there. Nobody's good looking when they're 14. Oh, my God. Oh, dear I was 14 me. or 15 that you could tell with my hair because it's before I had... Before I joined the Navy. Are you drunk in that photo? No, I weren't. I might be drunk in that photo, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do look a bit drunk in that photo, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I might be drunk in that photo. Oh, dear. Go on. You can have that again. Oh, Do some more comments. dear me. Oh, no, this one, because I think you look so cute in this one. You oh, look so cute in this photo. This is me and my sister on holiday. Uh, I can't remember where it was. It was probably... In Wales or something like that. You are so gorgeous. In that. I mean, you are now. You still are. But in that photo, wow. Um, and you looked like... I remember you looking like that when I met you. I was 16 or 17 there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was 16 or 17 there. Wow. My sister's two years younger than me. Ain't he a cutie? <laughs> yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, baby Colin. Mm. Oh, he's only saying God. that he's, he's trying to offset that the cop the show yeah. tonight. That's, he is. He's, he's just. He's just. Going, it's uh, too late, Alfred. Uh, Wayne and Wayne it says Colin with ginger hair. No, I never have ginger hair. I, I was no. proper blonde. I was blonde as well when I were a baby. Yeah, for me to know. <laughs> uh, that looks like a full nappy. Clearly, a lifelong dribbler, Colin. It's funny how it's funny how it kind of goes around, isn't it? That once you get into your fifties, you kind of revert back to how you are. He is gorgeous. Look at this! Oh my God, no! Same hair, but same hairstyle as uh, Alfie Barlow. It was. Yeah, there you go. We're we're rolling. Glad you. He is a total dish. Great Yarmouth, apparently. Oh, Great Yarmouth, yeah. Go on, you do some right, more. Great Yarmouth is lucky for say. Michelle is beautiful. My sister is gorgeous. She really is. There was, there was a point... You'll meet a Nico at the wedding. There was a point when, when it, it started becoming obvious that, that, that Sean might not be as kind of masculine as, as, as people thought. Oh. <laughs> no, I was just messing about. <laughs> Look at me dad's tash. I thought it was Des O'Connor. I <laughs> <laughs> say what are you doing partying with Des O'Connor? Oh, I remember once when he, sh he shaved that off and my mum looked at him and said, you can grow that back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Here we go, look. Alfie Barlow's I don't know if we're allowed to show this one. Yeah, because you want somebody in swimming trunks. Is this the one that you were talking about? Yeah. There you I go. I think... It's our, I must have been about 15, 14, 15 there. Something like that. What's tickled your Michelle on that one, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I, that's, that's enough of the photo, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, same hairstyle as Alfie Barlow. No more like Ken Barlow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. How handsome is our dad? He is. He was. He is. Uh, Zen Photo is late to the funhouse this evening. Well, the, you, you, you've missed it and we're off now. Aren't we? <laughs> well, shall we do what we did last week? Bye. We're off now. <laughs> Alfie says, How did you know I'm related to Ken Barlow? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Kat says, Oh, mixed up names. I meant Michelle needs to be a guest. Oh, God, can you imagine your Michelle on here? No, we're not getting our Michelle on here. <laughs> She's loud. Well, no, she used to be, didn't she? She's her voice has calmed down since she, uh, yeah, since, since she, she had got help. That operation that you need. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, dear. What are you doing now? Oh God, he's getting these photos up. <laughs> oh, Nico's decided after seeing all these that she's not coming to the wedding. Oh, we, no. we know you're not coming to the wedding anyway. We we had this last time, but we want you to come to the wedding. Yeah, we want you to come. That's why we keep saying it. We know that you can't. Uh, that's a strong 70s tash. My dad did the opposite and shaved his tash off and I told him to put it back on. <laughs> yes. 
It is weird when you see somebody with a tash for so long. My dad looked awful without a tash. And then they shave it off. Cause it, yeah. yeah. I Once don't... he'd had it for so long. Yeah. Uh, where's the baby teenage photos of Colin? You don't want to see them, do you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go. we do. Right, a couple. Only only a couple, because people, people get bored. Mind you, if they get bored, they can always go watch something else. Yeah, they else, can, can go watch honest, something they, else, uh, can't they? never really give a shit, to be honest. Uh, nice ones or embarrassing ones, do you oh, reckon? Embarrassing ones. Is Alfie re related to Gary, Gary Barlow? If he were related to Gary Barlow, he wouldn't be living in a caravan, would you, mate? <laughs> Oh, there's nothing wrong with living in a caravan. We used to live on a boat. Yeah, same we, thing. We used to live on a boat. Yeah. Uh, what about that one? Yeah, that one. Oh, a cute Colin look with his blonde hair. Oh, don't he look cute? Are you being sarcastic? No, I'm not. All oh, right. Okay. I'm not being sarcastic at all. Do you know how to get back to that one? You just press that one. All oh, right. He <laughs> don't know how to work it. <laughs> right. Embarrass <laughs> some embarrassing ones. Then let's see if we've got any embarrassing ones. Embarrassing ones of you. Yeah. I don't want to show any embarrassing ones. Do you want to see one of me holding my Tommy gun? <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear. Catherine says, Evening, gentlemen. How are you? Love those photos. Sean, you're still lovely, even at 60. Thank you very much. Sorry I'm late. In Durham now. Even Not at... York like last week. Where, why are you in Durham now? Heading north tomorrow. Back. Oh, yes. You've been down into York, haven't you? I realised then when I was reading it. <laughs> There's just no comment, really, is there? There's just really no comment. Come on back. Uh, no, we're leaving that on. No, we're not leaving that on. <laughs> I wasn't a pretty teenager, to be honest. I mean, I know most of Nobody us... Nobody is. I know most of us weren't, but I'm, I, there's a lot that I just... are just too embarrassing. Worse than yours, even. I think. Are we done with them now? I think we're done with them now. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Something's tickled Nico. Something's tickled Nico. And Alistair. Yeah. And Claudia. And and Mark can't quite believe what's going on. Yeah. Uh, where Alfie thinks <laughs> Alfie's it's, laughing as well. Alfie thinks it's brilliant. <laughs> just sums coming. Which one are we talking about that just sums Colin up? You against the glass. Oh, right. <laughs> there was actually one on on Facebook memories today. Is there? That that you were uh, Poser, even at that age, oh, I was a bit of a the poser. Look, the, the cool Colin. <laughs> uh, it was a Facebook memory, and I can't remember which which uh, which one it is. But it was one that you literally post every year. Uh, I can't find it on this. I don't know how you work it on this thing. Uh, but you you post you literally repost it every year. Here we go, memories. <laughs> oh God, yes. With you should glasses. be able to get that on there, shouldn't you? Yeah, it's probably there. Oh my God, smooshy face. <laughs> face. You're both awesome. Keep up the laughter and madness. What do you mean madness? It's not madness, it's insanity. Are you not showing that photo? I'm not showing that photo. Oh, no. why not? I, I can't, because I can't get it up. Well, I can, I have no problem with that, especially on, <laughs> especially on the tablet someone at the moment. But, I keep lifting my glass up and I've got no, none left. I was looking at... Uh, somebody, Sue's put, please, can we see Sherlock? I was literally... Lit Getting him up, then. Literally... Uh, just getting that screen on to show you Sherlock, uh, but he's he's not there. I think if you look right at the very back, uh, he's over there somewhere. If I just turn the camera, the the speaker on for a second, and then turn it back off. There you go. You saw his eyes. He's in the middle. Yeah, he should near the middle post. Yeah, he should look round. Just there. to the left of the middle post. Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh dear. I never saw my dad without a mustache until I was in my 30s and it was so weird. Yeah. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, it's strange. Mm. Uh, you two lads always look great. Thank you, Richard. Sponsored by Oil of Ule. Oil of No. 
Well, what's yours sponsored by? Creosote. Creosote. <laughs> Do you mean Artex? Artex. <laughs> uh, Claudia can see his eyes. She says, thank you. She says, I can see him. He's actually just moved a little bit. He's now over. You can, if you, you can probably just see his eyes towards the right-hand side. Where you can see that kind of dark round thing on the floor, that's his trug with his water. And he's on the branch just above that. He's just turned his head away. Oh, no, no he's flapping his wings. Yeah, he's, he's, he's walking. He's walking across the branch now. Oh, he's near he's the, middle the middle again. again. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this this will be a lot better later in the summer when it's daylight. Oh, like, you will be able to see him, and then you'll be easily be able to see him. Oh dear, uh, it baffles me how hair changes colour through life. I had jet black hair as a kid, and now it's gingery brown. Really? Wow! I was blonde, and then it went dark brown. It's weird, isn't it? I know somebody who's blonde, but is dark down there. <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's strange. Uh, hello, Sherlock. Can see his eyes. Alistair Holes can see him. Everybody everybody can see him. Oh, Sherlock. Uh, Shaz has a really bad picture of me. We'll show you at the wedding. Oh, dear. Uh, two very handsome chaps. Where? 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 Are you watching another channel, Shaky? Uh, and Nondi says, I wouldn't go near a man without a moustache. Really? We're, we're safe then. We're safe. We're safe. We're about cowboys. All cowboys have got a moustache. Most on cowboys have a moustache. I know a joke about cowboys. Do you want me to tell you the joke about cowboys? Is it clean? It actually is clean. It's a bit silly, but it's a bit clean. So these two cowboys are stranded in the desert. You think I'm going to say something inappropriate, don't you? These two, two cowboys are stranded in the desert and they've had nothing to eat or drink for days. And then one of the cowboys sees a tree and it's got bacon on it. It's a bacon tree. What? So he turns to the other cowboy and he goes, we're going to be all right, it's a bacon tree. And so they both go running towards the bacon tree, but then there's gunshots everywhere and they both get shot and killed because it wasn't a bacon tree, it was a ham bush. <laughs> <laughs> It that, was a hambush. That, that's terrible. I like that. <laughs> that made me chuckle. I was I was watching that on Instagram, and every time I watched it, I chuckled a bit more <laughs> until I started crying, and then I started leaking down there a little bit, and, <laughs> and had to go for a wee. It was a sit down wee though, so it was all right. Is Sherlock going to swoop in with the rings? No. Oh, the wedding ring. No, 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 he's not going to the wedding. No, he, he can't go to the wedding. No, he can't go to the wedding. No, the dogs are not going either. Uh, Sherlock's eyes. Uh, we've always known my dad to wear glasses, but a few years ago he wore contacts for a month until we asked him to go back to glasses as he just looked odd. Yeah, I, yeah, I only started wearing glasses about... Hambush. It, it's a hambush. It, it must have been about eight... <laughs> She behave like eight years ago, and I think I look strange without glasses now. Yeah, yeah. How much does Sherlock eat a day? Uh, he, he currently he eats about between seven and eight day old chicks, not so, seven or eight days old. Seven or eight one day old chicks yeah. uh, a day, which he normally eats from about five o'clock in the evening through to about eight or nine o'clock, uh, and then he might eat the others. Just as it's as, as the sun's rising, uh, every now and then he has he'll have a mouse. Uh, anything he doesn't want, because we I got him some quail, and and thought he might he like a quail. Like when he doesn't want something, he doesn't just leave it. He picks it up, and he puts it right in the far corner. He tries to hide it. He tries to hide it from me. He puts it in the far corner of his muse, and he it out of the way. really tucks it out of the way, right into the corner, literally right into the corner. And I notice these things, and it's stuff that he doesn't like. So I know he doesn't like quail. Sometimes he doesn't like mice, but sometimes he does. But it's just the way he moves it when he doesn't want it. He doesn't just leave it, he kind of moves it out of the way. Yeah, he does. Uh, Steve Fisher says, Swarfiga is my skincare routine. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Charlotte doesn't like it when I have to shave my beard off due due to having be a mask fitted for working with birds. All ah, right. Nico found it funny. What's she laughing at this time? I think she's laughing at my hambush joke. Ah, oh, right, yes. Yeah. I'm only going to read the comments out from people who said they liked it. Uh, so not you or you. Uh, <laughs> you boys are awesome and the perfect tonic after a bad week. 
There you go. <laughs> Kitty Cat found it funny. <laughs> Princess Script found it funny. Uh, Roy Tabera found it funny. Claudia found it funny. See, everybody found it funny except you. Kelvin and Kendall found it funny. Uh, James found it funny. Sarah loved the Hambush punchline. You obviously need some education in, in comedy, Peter, but there you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you're strange, full stop. You, you can't even spell. Do you have a strange full stop? Because that's what the... <laughs> she can't... There's no punctuation, no apostrophe, nothing. Did she get more CSEs than you? Did she actually get O-levels? No, she didn't get O-levels. Did she not? No. I think we both got about the same. I think. I ah. think. I think. I got. I got A's, B's, and C's. I think. I Michelle got uh, X, Y, and Z's. All right. <laughs> Bring it on then. Is that what? That's what that means. I have really, no, in it. That means. I, I that have means, no idea. Uh, DRS Exploring thought it was funny. Hambush. Uh, Steve Grubb, how are my bees doing? Have they survived? Yes. I uh, don't know if you, if you heard me talking about them earlier. Yeah, we've been in there today. Uh, well, your enough. hive was one of the hives that I inspected today. And your hive is packed. They're actually going to swarm soon uh, if, if this keeps up as it is. Your hive is one of the, the most packed hives we've got. So I'm having to keep a close eye on them. Yep, the and, and, and then force a swarm rather than them do it themselves. Shaky the gent thought it was funny. Uh, Andrea Range, go on, Sean. Oh, here we go. What's ET short for? Because he's only got little legs. What? This is why I tell the jokes. What's E.T. short for? Because he's only got little legs. <sighs> yes, thank you. As says Auntie Sullivan. She she's also supposed says to yes. be, She's supposed to be the act at the wedding. Trish Guthrie, Hambush, there you go. <laughs> Funny, genuinely laughed. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah? Yeah. So it's you that needs a comedy transplant. You and Peter Lewin. <laughs> You can, I hear, I actually hear that in Aberdeen they do them like they do the speed awareness courses. <laughs> where you just go for a day and they lay on a few sandwiches. Oh, dear yeah, me. And it don't go on your permanent record then. <laughs> uh, Princess Script loves it, you see. N Nico's crying now, look. Oh, dear. Uh, Lynn Bishop, have you got all the hives you will need this year? No, I haven't. No, oh, not yet. We're having a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Stop me if I start babbling. Stop me. No, I'm not. I'm just carry on. Uh, so, so the situation we're in is that I've got a couple of hives spare, but I know that in the next probably two, maybe three months, I'm going to get a lot of my Swans. colonies uh, about to swarm, and I'm going to need <laughs> to split them. Excuse me. So what we used to do is we used to say if you adopted a hive we would uh, put a plaque on it with whatever you wanted on it, like your name or a message or a business. Uh, but what I'm doing this year uh, is if anybody actually wants to buy a hive, which is a lot cheaper, I pay £216 for a full kit uh, from a company called Thorn. Uh, and if anybody buys a hive, we will basically sponsor it for them and we will give you honey for like... The year, every year that it's going, we will send you a jar of honey, and we can sell it to um, America. We can send it to America and Canada now. Uh, so, if you want the, uh, just you babble, Sean, because I just, I just want to check something. Just babble, he says. <laughs> yeah, put me on the spot. Can I have this? <laughs> eh? I just, I want to, I want to see if the link is uh, is is in the thing. So I'm just. Uh, Blah blah blah. Coffee blah, blah. Spurs is telling us a joke. Bruce Lee had a vegan brother called Broccoli. That's terrible. That's awful. That is terrible. Really awful. That is terrible. Right, there is. Oh no, let me take that one off. We're not we're not saying testicles in here. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your mouse is opposite to me. Right. There you go. She okay. Says, Can you put the link up again for the hives, please? Right. Uh, very, very quick way of doing this. You can either sponsor a hive, i.e., adopt a hive, where it doesn't buy as a hive. It basically just sends us the money. So that is one way of doing it. Now, if you want to do that, you can click this link or scan this QR code, 
uh, and that will do that. So uh, you can scan that or there's a link in the video description. Now I actually wouldn't recommend that at the moment uh, because there is another way of doing it. Where it says link in the video description, uh, if you go into the video description, under the details about the wedding, uh, there's a link with a paragraph that says buy a beehive and there's a link to the actual company where we buy them from. And this is the cheapest way to do it because if you buy us a kit or you send us the vouchers to buy a kit, uh, it's about £216 for the full kit. Ish. Uh, what we'll do is we will buy that kit, we'll put a, a, a swarm in there or a, a, a divided colony in there and then we'll get you a plaque and we'll uh, dedicate it to you. So we'll put your name or whatever message uh, that you want on there. Uh, so that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, so you can either just adopt it where it, it basically just sends us the money or you can actually go to the link uh, where it says buy a beehive and that actually buys the vouchers for us to just get yeah. them sent to us. So that's in the video description on, on your smartphone or your or your um, tablet, yeah. not on the TV. So just go in the video description. Yeah, you've got to go to a computer or a phone to do that. Uh, and we'll do that. I'll leave that link uh, in the video description anyway for you to have a look at. Was that clear? Because I, I, I think so. I know I tend to babble. Uh, if, if you've got any questions, if, I'm, if I kind of don't answer it properly, you can email us. Uh, the email address uh, is, is just at the bottom if you find that complicated at all. <sighs> wow. I'm ready for a drink now. Do you want me to get you a new drink? No, I'm, f I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, right. So uh, we're going to leave that email address on there. Uh, so Peter Owen says, Sarah just came up with an idea to attend your wedding. If invited, we move over to Scotland. <laughs> I think you'd suit Scotland after meeting it. Sorry, I need to yeah, rearrange. Yeah, I think you would. Yeah. yeah, I think you'd suit Scotland after, yeah. after meeting you. We met Peter and uh, Peter yes, and Sarah. Yes, we did. We did. I can hear the boys rustling. Yeah. Uh, E.T. phone home. I think, yes. Is that about Your dinner's sure? ready. Yeah. <laughs> Kelvin and Kendall. Uh, Hello, Kel Kelvin and Kelvin. Can't afford a hybrid. Hope it does. Thank you. That will buy us some foundation. Kelvin and Kendall, not Kelvin and Kevin. Yeah. It's me. I can't read. You've met them. I know I've met them. Coming to the wedding, you got. To I get, know. You've got to get the names I right. I know. Coming to the wedding. I know. Uh, <laughs> Limbership was thinking of getting one for a wedding gift, something of use. It really would be. Yeah. yeah so that's fine. By, by, uh, that would be brilliant. That that would be amazing. Thank you. It would. Uh, that was great info. Thanks, guy. That's that's okay. No problem. Princess script is. is what does that mean? It's like. Go away. I don't know what that emoji means. It's like a it's like a yay, high five. Oh, is it? Yeah. I think. I'm probably completely wrong. Uh Lee Ray says, What are you drinking tonight, Sean? Orange juice. It's empty. Yeah, I've had enough alcohol this week down in Liverpool and London. You told me you weren't drinking. Did you take your hip flasks? Yes. How many? One. Oh, just one. And I only had half of it, it's still half full. Foundation, what's foundation? What are we talking about? Found it. Bees. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bees. I thought you were talking about like I, th I thought they were talking about you. Do you know what I mean? Like, is oh, it, right. Is it obvious that you're wearing makeup? I don't wear makeup. <laughs> uh, foundation is. I need a trowel with these lines. So the, the the frames that go in beehives have got like a wax foundation, and that's what they build the cells on, which they fill with brood and honey and, and it's pollen. It's like a wax sheet, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, £10 will basically buy us 10 sheets of, well, a few more probably, of, of that foundation, which yeah. is like one hive or one super, yeah. isn't it? So that's what that does. We'll show you next time you're up. Uh, don't worry, Sean, everybody gets confused with us two case. Wait while he's had a drink at the, at the, I said funeral, I nearly said funeral then. Blimey. <sighs> Good job we only invited them guests, or it would have felt like it, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hi to my favourite couple from the west coast of Canada. Hello, hi. Laurie. Hi, Laurie. Uh, how much should we put on the beehive voucher? If you want a whole beehive adopted to you, so we put your name on a plaque with it, then it has to be the cost of the beehive, which is 216 or as close as. Yeah, so you'd it, have to have a look when you click on the link, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, so if, it's, if the closest is 200, 200. 
uh, but it, it costs us two hundred and sixteen. But that's that's if you want the the, the, the plaque, the, the, the plaque on it. I mean, you could just if you wanted to, if you just wanted to help the bees out, you could just kind of put a, a ten pound voucher in. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to obviously sponsor it in your name, uh, but you could you could still do that. That's it. Uh, Sean, how did you? Sean, did you manage to have a night out in Liverpool when you came down? Uh, no, we uh, we had. When I got there, it was five o'clock in the evening. So after travelling from up here, I left the house at six o'clock in the morning, and I got into Liverpool at five o'clock, and then I got to Kevin Sue's house round about six o'clock. So too tired to go out so we had a night in with and sue cooked supper we had a lovely chicken lasagna it was chicken good. lasagna she's got to give me the recipe oh that sounds she's nice she's got to give me the recipe it was lovely that sounds lovely chicken lasagna and then the next morning we went to Le london i thought you said uh, i thought you were going to say Lidl's then. little london yeah. and then when we came back we had uh an indian curry takeaway which was lovely Oh, I wish I'd have come now. Do you know what I had? Turkey on toast. <laughs> well, you know now, don't you? You should come next time. <sighs> hello, guys from Queensland. Hello. In Australia. Princess Script, hello. Uh, Della's watching on a bit of a delay, but she found it funny. Found what funny? Hambush. Oh, right, yes. I thought that was really funny. We are in a delay. She must be on a delay. I think everybody's on a delay tonight, to be honest. Uh, what's in Colin's bin? I don't know. We still haven't got his jingle sorted out. Have we not got it well, sorted we, out yet? We, the, the, it's the, the guy who does our jingles for our radio station over there. If, if I show you that camera, you can see it. There you go. The guy who does our jingles for the radio station. I'm looking at that camera and you're over there. The guy who does our... Uh, fifth time... The guy who does our jingles for our radio station, he's doing the jingle for what's in Colin's bin. But it's been really big. If I talk in here, it sounds like I'm talking in, in like a cellar, doesn't it? I am going to kill you. Uh, so, or it looks like I'm going to be sick, doesn't it? I'm not going to be sick. Uh, so we just, he says he's going to have it ready tomorrow. So, oh, tomorrow? Yeah, so it should be ready for next week. Uh, but I don't know what's, what's in Colin's bin. I actually haven't put any effort into this. This, I've, I've not been taking any notice uh, of, of what I've been putting in Colin's bin. A uh, packet of matchmakers. An empty packet. Yeah. Oh, a USB stick with incriminating evidence. Uh, not the only timeout wrapper. There is, there's, there's quite a few, to be honest. At least a dozen. Yeah, there's, there, there's quite a few timeout wrappers. You can see what he's been eating while I've been away. I buy him meals in. Cadbury's cream egg. And he eats goofballs all the time. Time out. You keep telling me to take time out. And when I take time out, you have a go at me for it. That wasn't sponsored by Cadbury, by the way. Sorry, that was actually piss poor, what's in Colin's It was, that bin. was poor this week, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to be more adventurous. As soon as that bottle of lube's empty, that'll be going in there, to be honest. <sighs> it. Ow! Serves you right. Shut up. <laughs> uh, Alfie says, what if I missed my phone died? We gave away a million pounds. Do you not have it? You did, yeah? Yeah, we said anybody with the initials A, B, uh, all you got to do is, 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 is chat. And we'll yeah. give you a million pounds. Yeah, you missed that's tough. And Andy do Burnham you know, won it. Do you have a TV? Do you have a TV in that caravan? Andy Burnham. <laughs> uh, what not to do, Colin? We have noticed you have done your door handle. It looks so much better. I only did it because you mentioned it last time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I did it. That is the only reason I did it. Have you gave your phone a kiss of life, Alfie Barlow? So it says Alistair Holes. <laughs> uh, I was comfort eating, missing you. You comfort eat all the time. That's what the man says. I have, I have coffee, chocolate all the time. Yeah, I have, I have a difficult brain, and I have to soothe it with chocolate. Don't tell me. Yes, you don't have to tell me. I it's started difficult. on a new tablet. Well, it's a bit. It's an old. It's a tablet I've done done before, isn't it? Yeah. 
but it's the t it's the only tablet that's never been like like really bad side effects. I'm sorry, are we keeping you up? No, you're not keeping me up at all. Come on, carry on. What? It's all right. We're not talking about like death or something. I know. It's just a tablet. There you go. Uh, for new listeners, what's the name of your radio station, please? Is that one of our presenters looking for a... <laughs> no idea. Using a false... Have we got any presenters called Neil? I don't think we have, have we? No. What about that nighttime presenter, Neil Down? I don't think it's him, is it? <laughs> what? Neil Down. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Uh, crackers. Alfie's got something else on the TV that he won't mention. I bet it's narrow. Uh, I bet it's narrow about life unlocked. Yeah, or cruising the. Oh. I've got to start saying cut. Yes. Aren't I cruising the cut? That's yes. what I've got to start saying. The question is, what would you need lube in the office for? Uh, very, very simple. Don't. My Rubik's cube. Don't set it's, him it's, off. It's a, It's because it's a a, a, a fast spinning one. You have to lubricate inside the things to keep it spinning. Right. <sighs> Alistair Owls believed it anyway. Uh, Noddy, Colin, how do I get over someone? It's six months and I still love him, beginning to dream about him. I t I t to be honest, I don't think you can. I think it's just time. Time. I think you've just try got to try and get on with your life and just accept what it is and move on and with time it, it will hopefully get easier yes I don't think i think if there was an answer to that i think yeah other, other people would know that wouldn't they yes oh dear try and find things to do ali tasker ali 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 snow faster. ali ali Aster. Uh, about to stuff our faces with jacket spuds and homemade bolognese sauce and <gasps> cheese yum bolognese sauce lovely can we have some cheese yum Cheese yum. Mm. Uh, Robert Emmins says that uh, watching you two is better than watching Sunday night telly. Well, well it is actually. It is. It's not difficult, is it? it? I mean, is. Sunday yeah. night telly's rubbish anyway. Oh, Chris and Mary Downs have decided oh, they've to join turned us. Up. Yeah, they've come home from the pub at last. They've turned up. Uh, here we are again. Happy as can be. All good friends. Jolly good company. That's normally what people say before they jump off a bridge, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, both. Hope you had a good time with Abba. I did. Thank you, Chris and Mary. I did. It was brilliant. Uh, Pete, if you watch back, Chris and Mary, sorry. sorry. If you watch back from the beginning, you'll see some photos when we've finished. Oh, sorry, we're still going. We? <laughs> just, yeah, put some photos up. Uh, are we finished? I'm finished. Uh, Peter Lowen. <laughs> oh no, Sarah's on right move now. Oh my. Well, there's not much around, to be honest. No, the there moment. isn't. We not keep much looking. About. We're not, it's not that we're moving again, but we just look. Yeah, we like to be nosy. Yeah, we do, don't we? <laughs> yes. That's not worth that, is yeah. it? I won't pay that for that. Oh, dear. Uh, thank you both, says Noddy Brown. That's all right. I don't Welcome. know what we've done. but um, We sent him somewhat. Getting over somebody. Ah, right, okay. Uh, Cal Hancock says, you must be good. I'm missing the golf. Wow. You're good with it. Handling your club, aren't you? Particularly good with your putter. On my wood. Mm. You get on to me when I start. Whenever I say anything like that, you start tutting, pulling a face like somebody's put dog shit under your nose. <laughs> Stop swearing. You can. We're allowed to say that. I don't that. care. Somebody no. com we, we. I got an email because we people complain about us, and we yes, got, we, do. we got an email yesterday from YouTube saying uh, that w one of our very, very old videos that had a clip of uh, us doing the ice bucket challenge, that's how old it was, oh my God. Uh, has been age-restricted. Uh, really? Because somebody complained. And there's, there's nothing in it. We, we've, we cl we're both clothed. I think you've got, you've got shorts and a T-shirt on, and I've got shorts on. I had a vest on, didn't I? Yeah, and I've got shorts on. And uh, and so I appealed it and said that it doesn't break the guidelines at all. And within like thirty seconds, I got one back saying, "Yeah, we've manually checked it and it's fine." <laughs> but people are absolutely people complain about stupid things. Bumhole sometimes. I don't know. I don't know a lot of them. Uh, hi guys, you are both looking extra good this evening. Do you think so? He smells nice as well. To say he's been away a few days. I've had a bath. He has had a bath. He just, <laughs> yeah. An extra bath this mm. week. Uh, Jenny says, I just realised that Narrowboat study. Do you think she means stubbly? 
Studley. Spudley. Spudley aren't here. To... They were earlier. I don't know if... Were they? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see them. Uh, Jenny Mallon says, uh, is the Rose Hive for 220... I've, I've, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Go on, you babble Rose on. Rose Hive? Yeah. Wasn't she in Coronation Street? <laughs> I know a Rose on Doctor Who. That's... But, doc but her name weren't... Her surname weren't Hive. There was some I can't remember some of, um, the lads at school used to talk about Rosie Palm. I don't know what is that is that something else I wanna, am I thinking of something different? I don't know. Uh, the rose hive is made of boxes all the same size. Oh, I want to say, uh, da, da, blah blah. So I'm just I'm just I'm having a read. He's having a read. I'm having a read. No, that's different. That's no, that's slightly different. It's a different size from the ones that we have. The ones that I use are called the British National, the National Hive. Uh, that, that's the one that we have. Uh, but good question. Yes. Uh, Kath Q, you two are great to watch. Nice to see you both again. Thank you, Kath. There, there are several styles, Jennifer. There, there, there are. I'm going to try and find. Uh, I'm going to try and no. I'll, I'll try and do that later. But yeah, there's like this the the national. And there's the Langstroth and there's the commercial. Yeah, there's quite a few. Yeah, but I use the National, so mine's the National Hive. Uh, Neil says, so what is the name of your radio station? Oh, yeah, we, oh, yeah, we, we, <laughs> we were talking about we, it. It went, didn't you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's called Mind Station. There you go, mindstation.co.uk or just uh, scan that QR code. Uh, they, there you go. We weren't ignoring Sorry, you. Sorry, Neil. You know what it's like on here. Completely, completely, yeah. Uh, Wicked Lizard, I'm rebuilding a fence. No idea what I'm doing. I need Sean's expert building help. What? You just farted, didn't you? I thought it was the dog. You just farted, didn't you? Rewind and listen to it. You haven't, have you? <laughs> have you shit yourself? No. Promise me you haven't shit yourself. Haven't not in my office. No! <laughs> Stand up. No, I'm not standing up. I haven't. I won't believe you unless you stand up. No, go bananas. I haven't! You've followed Stop through, it. You? You've followed through no, you? I haven't. I'm glad it's on your chair and not mine. <laughs> no, I had It sounded like Ollie. Oh, did, did it? Yeah, I thought it were Ollie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right, you've got a question. Wicked I've Lizard's a question. Re rebuilding a fence. He's no idea what he's doing and he needs your expert building help. I don't know what's wrong with your fence. If you need... You need your posts in concrete to stop it falling over. How deep would he bury his fence posts? Uh, it depends on the height of the fence. The chicken coop, the fence there, they're down at least two metres. So, yeah. Yeah, the strain posts, straining posts are two metres down. So, so how, that's quite how, a lot now. How, how deep not quite two, No, not two metres. I'd say maybe just over a metre. Two metres is nearly six foot, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, another a metre down mm. yeah maybe a little bit more uh, it depends what's wrong with it sorry I thought we'd done again I thought we'd done <laughs> again but we haven't we have now Graham Morris just had a look under the virtual bridge the trolls are picking their noses and eating it no surprise, <laughs> no surprise. <laughs> we've, said th we've said this before people say to us oh ignore the trolls block the trolls and don't listen to them and stuff like that why we the love fun. it the we fun. absolutely love it. I know we've said this before, so if, if we bore you, we bore you for a minute. But think about it this way. If the trolls hate whoever, not just us, but whoever they're trolling, yeah. if they don't like you that much, why do they keep coming back and watching week after week after week? They're our biggest fans, even though they don't know that, because they're coming back and giving us view time and giving us engagement, which is boosting our channel, which makes it more popular. Everybody loves a numpty. Everybody loves a numpty, don't they? <laughs> Jennifer says, I feel like I've won the lottery. I had a God question. I a think God she, question? I think she means a good question. I don't know anything about God. No, we, we don't do that really, do we? <laughs> you had a good question. Yes, it was a good question. Andrew says, an expat living in the USA. Love you guys for years. You are both a good distraction. From this crazy world, it is a bit of a crazy world, yes, isn't it? Yes, it's a big crazy world at the moment. It is. She corrected herself, look. <laughs> uh, Coffee Spurs was going to try golf till he realised drivers and holes was something else. <laughs> this is going a bit south now, isn't it? Yeah, because we're far behind. Tony says, my grandma always blamed the dog. 
<laughs> uh, Alistair says, have you seen the new Doctor Who trailer? Uh, I don't think I have. No, I haven't seen it yet. No, not at all. Sorry. <laughs> can you try and, and, and kind of drag your answer out over like three or four minutes so that I can kind of catch up? Like Chrisley says, about, about, about. I do think that many people look for things to complain about. Yeah, you're right there. Like me. You are both part of the... I'm not saying that word. <laughs> Something about and Fasht find out generation. Fashtag. A.K.A. Fashtag Stark. Fashtag Stark. That's what it means. It's Fashtag Stark. No, it's not. It is. I know what that. I know what he's trying. Right. To... F and hashtag is Fashtag and Star with a K is Fashtag Stark. That's not what he means. That's what it says. You think he'd keep his nose out, wouldn't you, Crisley? AKA Generation X, we grew up feral and thick skinned. Yeah, we, yeah it's true. I'm well, I know I was feral. I'm looking at photos of Lewis. Oh, he's not. He's got bees. He's looking <laughs> at bees. Jenny heard the fart. Oh, no, Jenny. Uh, Trish says he didn't fart. The chair must be squeaky. Th well, that's it, right, Trish. He yes. admitted it. No, it, you, to be fair, you admitted it. <laughs> if you ever fart in a lift, if no, if you're ever in a lift and fart immediately, imme right, punctuation, please. If you're ever in a if right, you uh, y o u <laughs> apostrophe r e. If you're ever in a lift and fart, comma, immediately say, and then. Can anybody smell popcorn? Question mark. Full right. Capital T. They will all inhale. Lol. Well, they'll inhale fat. So if, if you put a full stop after inhale, no wonder I'm so shattered after these live chats. Oh my God. Tell you what, Mr. Bob, if you're in your twenties and got nice biceps and blonde hair, come round here and I'll give you some some English lessons. You're all right with that, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, he'll have a bath when he gets here. <laughs> when it comes to trolls... I'm only kidding, by the way, Mr. Bob. Uh, when it comes to trolls, look at it this way. <laughs> if, they're, they are, if they're picking on you, they'll... You see, you spell it right there. You, <laughs> you spell it right there, but then you spell it wrong there. If they are picking on you, they are leaving others alone. There you go. Like I'm picking on him for his punctuation, yeah, that's it, yeah. his punctuation and spelling. We block people for that. No, we don't. <laughs> We've got another thumbs down. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Princess Script, Colin, you need a chicken trail cam so you can see them when you're not there. Oh, no, we, the, the chickens are fine. The chickens are fine. They look after that. We can let them out and they can go wandering, I don't know, into the next village and then they'll still come back. They'll still come home. Yeah. He's going to need a longer spade for them posts. Yeah, <laughs> Alistair says it's better out than in. Uh, Neil says for me, trolls are little plastic dolls with great hair, and Doctor Who got complaints about those episodes. Mm. Really? Everybody's always complaining these yeah. days. Uh, People hi, love it. Hi, Sean and Colin, enjoying the chatting here in Shropshire. Tina and Tina Dave. Tina and Dave. Our neighbours are called Tina. Yeah, and we've Dave, got some neighbours called Tina and Dave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Colin, I ought to hire you as an editor for my e-zine. E-zine? E I'd need to know what that is. Don't even know what that I th is. I think it's an e-magazine. Is it? Yeah, I'm not really good at it. Ah, editing. right, yeah, I get that. Yeah, e-zine. E-zine. Yeah, 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 magazine, yeah. Yeah. Apologies going through a bad spell. I'm soon 69. <laughs> you know, I'm, I said I was kidding. I just, I just like... Yeah, <laughs> comma, semicolon, there we go. Uh, Lee Ray, out of you guys, who does the smelliest farts? Oh, it's got to be him. I don't fart as much as you, but... No. My, the, but the, let me finish. Yes, you do. Let me finish. You sneak, let me em, you sneak them out. <laughs> he farts more than I do, but oh. when I do fart, it more than makes up. Yeah, 
But no, you don't. I don't fart anymore. You, you sneak them out so nobody hears them. Mine are more, mine are more silent but deadly. Yeah. They oh, really are deadly. Dear, that was funny. They really are dead. <laughs> yeah. Even even the dogs leave the room. Don't they? <laughs> if the do- if if right if if Ollie or Otis is laid with one of us and we fart, then f- f- like say it's Ollie the other night. Ollie kind of looks. He, he puts his head down to his bum and then looks at me as if to say, "That's one of yours." Yeah, that's one of yours. It weren't me. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Yes, it's an online magazine. Thought awesome, Dan. Uh, Sandra saying, any lip reading experts in the room? <laughs> uh, do you see many deer, says Sue? All the time, Sue. We yeah. have loads. We have a hill mountain thing behind us, don't we? And there's loads. There's always herds, herds of deer on there, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> real. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Why have you got him in uh, there like that? <laughs> Why? You should see what he's searching for. Look. <laughs> At least it doesn't say Louis Irons naked. It just says Louis Irons. Because you probably wouldn't find a photo of him naked. Oh no, I've seen one. Yeah, not oh. not, not all of it. Not all of it. He's got she's got like trunks on. Uh, it was for when I was what I was talking about earlier with the phone. When I was talking about I was going to do the thing with the phone, saying that he was ringing. Do you remember? Before yeah. this vlog started, yeah. that's why I was looking, and I was looking for a photo to <coughs> use for that. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? Do you know what? If you don't mind. It's a good job he muted that. <laughs> I love it. Claudia says that's right. The silent ones are more deadly. They are. Oh dear. They are. One night I had to, when you were in there. In, it, Sean sleeps in the spare room sometimes because he snores and kicks. You just did it again, didn't you? No, I didn't. No. All right. He snores and kicks and, and meows and all sorts. Meows. And one night I farted in bed and it was so bad I had to get up and have a glass of water so that it went a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> really? It really that bad. Yeah. I, <laughs> I have Googled about how, how kind of smelly farts can be dangerous. My health anxiety has got too much for me sometimes. Oh dear! I've been like, what have I got? Speaking of Ollie, have you have you been shoe shopping lately? Oh, yes. yes. I had to buy some new trainers. Thank you. Is is a is a swine for shoes, isn't he? I don't know if I, if I don't know if I uh, if if we if I if I if we put the. I can't remember if we. If we were on we, Facebook, wasn't it? If, if you we put showed your Facebook, the things, we'd be able to see show and face show on Facebook. Uh, this is not the photo we put on social media, but uh, if, I, if, I, if I move that comment, uh, you can just see on the right-hand side uh, the trainer that's been uh, eaten. Yeah, and Ollie looking as if to say, and I'd do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd do it again. <laughs> uh, to all the people that were saying... Uh, oh, you should put them away and you shouldn't have left them out and blah, 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 blah. They were away. They were away. <laughs> They're on a shelf behind a towel and, and and he still goes for them, so... Yes, I've got to fix that this week. Yeah, there you go. I've got to put a piece of wood on there. Uh, Shal Atkinson says, One day, could you please, please, please make a compilation video of when Sean is laughing hysterically? I love his laugh so much. Have we, not, have we done it on a I think, outtake? I think uh, there is there is a video of it uh, that exists, I think North Korea use it for torture. <laughs> they basically put people in a room and then just play that video. <laughs> I'll tell you where I tell you I'll tell you where if, if I could I tell you if we get a video of all of you just laughing and just take the audio off, we could sell it to Blackpool for the laughing policeman. It's not there anymore, is it? Is it not? I don't know. It's not. It used to be outside the fun house, but the fun house isn't there anymore. It's a ride called Valhalla, isn't it? Well, where you were talking about getting a job. <laughs> we could move to Blackpool and you could just sit in that glass box all day I have laughing. No. £9 an hour. No. <laughs> £9 an Nine hour. £9? <laughs> Uh, I wanted to name Kendall's ferrets Tam and Pax, but she wouldn't. Which leads me on to ferrets. Fat stinks. Yeah, I've heard about ferrets. 
stinking badly. Yeah, we used to live next door when I was a child. Lived, lived next door to somebody that kept yeah. ferrets. Uh, Jennifer Mallon says, Yo, Jenny, can I call you Jenny as well, Jennifer? Uh, your mutes are becoming uh, our favourite part of the live chats. <laughs> Now stop that! <laughs> oh dear, Lolly, lo, sorry, Lozzy Lou Roll Dad. What? What? While we're on the subject of language, why do Northerners substitute the work? I don't get that. I, I don't, don't get that. No, I, I have no idea. Uh, Dan Holyfield says, "I knew I should have gone to buy another bottle of." Tullamore Drew to make it through the show. I'm laughing too much to complain. Though. You don't need drink to watch the show. It just helps a lot, doesn't it? It just helps, yeah. It, it helps him to get through it anyway. It helps, yeah, and I'm not on it tonight. I will be next week. Jules, Kay is it Kaylee or Callie that costs? Some pronounce it Kaylee and some pronounce it Callie, don't they? I think that's Kaylee. Uh, Edwards, hi both. Have you ever tried battered black pudding? Oh, I. Uh, from the chip shop. I think it's a Scottish thing. Don't seem to have it in Wales. Uh, no, I've never. I've, I do like black pudding, uh, yeah. but I've never had it battered. I I really like a battered sausage, don't I? To be honest. Uh, what? Pork, not beef. We went into a, a restaurant in. Well, not a restaurant where we were staying in Edinburgh, and as part of the breakfast, you get a pork sausage and a beef sausage. Yes. And the pork sausage was beautiful, and I don't like sausage as much. No, you go, you're particular, aren't you? I'm quite particular. People think that just because I'm like a, a woofter, as that man called me the other day. <laughs> Too many woofters on YouTube, he says. Spoiling the fun. I tell you, woofters can have a lot of fun. Uh, but no, I don't think we've seen black pudding, have we? Not, no, ba not, not battered, battered black pudding. I, I think... Um, I think La Mirage in Helmsdale will probably sell that. You keep saying that they sell this, that and the other, but you just keep coming out with fish and chips. Because you don't come in there and have a look what's on the menu. There's loads on there. I want a battered Mars bar. I'll do you a battered Mars bar. We'll get you one next time. I want to try it can tomorrow. You want to go tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. We'll go tomorrow. We'll go tomorrow. Uh, you can't say that, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The, the mutes are as good as the bleeps. <laughs> 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 We have to, we would get shut down. I honestly, yeah, if he didn't mute what he was saying, we would get shut down. Yeah, uh, Chris and Mary Downs, don't forget to invite Jamie Dornan to your Saturday Live when he's in Sutherland. Oh, yes, you that would be good. You can't keep him to yourself, Colin. <laughs> you want to bet there'll be a room one day with, with him and Justin and Lewis and. And Sean will go in and, and they'll all look. It's like, daylight, what's going on? Please <laughs> help me. All in there in chains. Uh, you can't. You really can't say that, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> lip read. Uh, Su <laughs> Suzanne says, laughing so hard I can't lip read properly. Uh, we had a chicken who loved shoes. A chicken? Wow. The chickens do peck at our shoes when we go in there, yeah, don't we? Yeah, if you don't feed them straight away, well... They've always got food in there, mm. but if you walk in there with veg or you walk in there with nothing, they'll just peck at you until you give them some mixed corn. Yeah. Uh, would you like some time out, Colin? I think I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough timeouts. If you don't, if you don't get that reference, just rewind a little bit. Uh, Sean, do a cooing segment again someday. A cooing. Yeah. Do you not remember doing that? No. Well, he sits in the middle of the stairs, not at the top or the bottom, halfway, with a, a tank top vest on, and he looks at the camera and he goes, coo, <laughs> like a pigeon. No, I don't. No, I think she means cooking segment, Sean. I think she does, yeah. <laughs> coo. Uh, do a cooking segment. Th we're going to do something... When, when I do when we do the marmalade, aren't we? Mm. So there'll be something around. Yeah, we're not sure when we're doing it, but it'll be soon. Mm. Uh, Jennifer Sherwood, I'd love to meet you both. Get up here. Yeah, come up here. Sean got recognised lots of times on his way down to Liverpool and London, didn't you? The yeah. guy, the guy at the Abba concert recognised him. What was it, Bjorn yeah. or Benny? <laughs> yeah, I went to buy a souvenir book, and the guy behind the counter recognised me. I, somebody, I went in York Station, somebody shouted across the platform at me. Yeah, crazy. 
That it. That's it. I thought you were gonna. I thought they were gonna be like a, a story with a punchline there. Oh no! Oh, oh yeah, there were. <laughs> there, there we the, go. Let's go back to the that. Bloke, yeah. The bloke at the ABBA concert. Yeah. Who recognised me? Because uh, I was stood next to Sue. I went. <laughs> I said, "This is Sue." I said, she, "She's the other half of the boat builder. She she helped build the boats. Built when she used to build the boats." And the guy went, oh, "Okay, can I have a selfie? It's with me." <laughs> Seems to say, go away, I don't want you <laughs> to sue. That's oh Yeah, he did. Yeah, you ask her. It was funny. Oh. She sort of went, oh, fine. <laughs> but wouldn't, there wouldn't have been a, a selfie with me. There wouldn't have been a fox as a float without Sue. There wouldn't have been a fox as a float without Sue. Genuinely wouldn't have no, been a fox as a float without Sue and Kev. It would not, we would not be here today. No, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah. We would have been one of those smaller channels. God. Uh, Graham Norris used to have ferrets called Nut and Ball. Nut and Ball, fantastic names. Uh, Colin, stop turning your head so we can't make out what you're saying. That's why I'm turning my head. <laughs> I'm not going to say words. <laughs> Otherwise, I would get blocked, wouldn't I? Would. Absolutely. Have you had battered haggis? Uh, no, not I'd battered haggis either. I do like haggis. Uh, but Lamarage sell it. <laughs> do they? Yes, they do, yeah, battered haggis. Maureen Falder. Why do I know that name? Maureen Falder? Maureen I don't F know. I know that name. Why do I know that name? Have you emailed or has something happened? Something's happened with that name. Alistair Hull says your shoes would be in Collins. Well, they, w they were in the kitchen bin, to be honest. They're a bit big to go in the office bin. Yes. Uh, but they, they were in the kitchen bin. Uh, Lynn says the mutes are so funny because some people can lip read. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing in YouTube's guidelines about lip reading. No, there isn't. It's just about what's actually said. So I could say all sorts Don't of words. Don't start! Like... And nobody would... Do you know what I mean? There's absolutely nothing people can do about it. <laughs> uh, Colin dropping the F-bomb again. Not that time! No, it didn't. Time. I was talking about the butchers. Yeah. yeah. Four pound of beef curtains. Yeah, but we are behind. <laughs> we are, aren't we? Uh, Claudia uh, says that battered sausage, you can't say that. Yeah, we Bat are behind. Battered sausage is a, is a big we... thing, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. We're not that far behind. Are we not? Uh, what is the name of where you stayed here? Oh, I don't, I don't know what you're talking stayed about. Stayed here. Are you talking about, I don't know what you're talking about, because we're a little bit behind. Uh, just be careful when you mute the the microphone. Some of us can lip read. That's absolutely fine. There's nothing in YouTube's guidelines about lip reading swear words. Yeah. So. And we don't care. We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve Fisher. When we lived in Easter, Easter Ross is not far, is it? It's so not far. It's only down the road. Uh, hard pizza, deep fried pizza was the thing in the local chippies. Deep fried pizza. Not seen it over here in Westeros yet. Wow. Deep fried, I, I, I think deep fried pizza would be a little bit too yeah, much. Yeah, I've never seen deep fried pizza. Mm. Wow. Not sure you want to leave silence to our imagination. That's why it works, Patricia. <laughs> uh, Princess Script says, try, for, try deep fried pineapple fritter. I've had those. It's, I used to make those when I was in the Navy. We used to put, yeah, we used to make those. It doesn't sound very appetizing. No, it's nice. I'm a bit funny with pineapples. Aren't they? Yeah, you can have it as a sweet pineapple mm. fritters and some custard on it. Mm. To, to be honest, I, I'm a little bit wary of anything that's got the word fritter at the end of it. <laughs> you? Yeah, I used to make pineapple fritters. Yeah, that's that definitely sounds like a euphemism to me. Uh, silent but deadly. De Della, that's the second time Della's commented. She's definitely on a delay. Yeah, it's, it's about a twenty minute delay, isn't it? That. Uh, here we go. I'm partial to a bit of Jamie Dornan. This is my cousin, this Sue. Partial to a bit of Jamie... J she's actually. Yeah. So if he visits, I'll be up there like he, a shot. He is coming. He's coming, he's, to, coming, he's, he's, coming, he's coming up to Sutherland. He's, he's filming in Sutherland. He's doing, have you seen what he's doing? No. It's a thing. You know when uh, Tom Hardy did The Craze and he played both twins? Oh, I've, I've heard he's playing twins. He's, he's playing identical twins. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there you get two. Sue, you get two. Well, you can have one. And then we'll have, we'll have the other one. Uh, Cal's looking forward to the marmalade. Uh, Piper says, how's the bees doing? 
Uh, we were talking about them earlier. They're doing we really well. They yeah, have, they're doing really good. Some of them had the first inspection today, and and they're doing very very well. Yeah, we've got to. I'm I'm supplementing the the. I'm having to give them a lot of fondant because a lot of them have. I say a lot. About a third of them are running out of their own stores now, uh, and because it's been. It has been quite cold late into the spring. I was it has. Looking, my photo memories this time last year. I'd already done two naturist walks. Really? Yeah. And, and you've not been out at all this year, it's, have you? It's hardly ever got above double figures, has it? Yeah. It's, it hasn't got above nine degrees hardly. And the last month or so, it's just been this cold easterly wind off the sea, which is always dank and cold and horrible. Uh, but yeah, the the bees are all doing well. Every single hive I've checked. Hopefully the weather's going to cheer up. Mm. Uh, Dwayne says, hi from Indiana. Always a great time on Foxes Live. Thank Yay. you. See, cheers, Dwayne. Will your marmalade be thick set, says Judith. Is that like uncut? Thick set. <laughs> no, you mean, you know what I mean that's got bits in it? Shredless. It means, I think she might mean, mean thick cut. That's what I was talking yeah. about. My, my marmalade is thin. My, my, the marmalade I make is thin cut. Right. So it depends. It's the peel. Ah, right. So if it hasn't got any bits in it, it's not called uncut then. No, if it's got if it's got none if it's got none of that in, it's called shredless. Right. That's and the one I like. Got then isn't it? thin cut or thick cut, and that's that's the thickness of what the rind is. All oh, right. So, to be honest, I don't know where I've got that from, so I'm just going to Google the term uncut and see what comes. No, up. you're not going to Google uncut. I'll not share that screen with you, to be honest. Oh, my God. Uh, Sharon Bamba sorted the thorns voucher for you. Thank you oh, so much. Oh, you're a darling, we'll so Sharon. We'll I'm so looking forward to meeting the Bambas. Yeah, we're going to have to sort you out at, at, at what you want on, on your adopted hive. Yeah. Thank you so much. Maureen Felder's coming to the wedding. That's where I know that name from. But you're, I'm sure that's not the surname. There's a different surname, is there? Is, and your other half is called Terry, I think. See if I've got a really? good memory. I think I think so, unless I've made a huge balls up, which I usually do when I end up upsetting people, which wasn't my intention <laughs> if that's happened. Uh Noddy Brown says band on the Royal Mile. Oh no, bend on the bet Bennett on the Royal Mile do battered Mars bars. Oh, I'd, do they? I'd like to try one. Ooh. We'll be going to uh Edinburgh again soon, won't we? We have to pick our wedding suits up. To pick them up, yeah. We're going to get fitted. Uh, they'll be ready. Mm. Uh, Lynn says, I love Aggies, just don't think what it's made of. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's actually not that bad, is it? Black pudding's the same, just don't think about what it's made of. Mm. When you stayed in Edinburgh, that was at least five minutes ago. Ah, oh, right, where did we stay when we stayed in Edinburgh? Ah, right, where? I can't remember the name of the place, but it was on the Royal Mile. It was on the Royal Mile, opposite that big church. Yeah. Wasn't it? Mm. I wonder if ventriloquists can get flagged on YouTube. I, that's, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a good. Uh, Dan says deep fried pizza sounds like a heart attack waiting to happen. Oh god, yeah, it does absolutely does. <laughs> that might be too much even for me. That yeah, and that might be too much. Ugh. Uh, pineapple fritter on a bread cake with a chicken breast. Pineapple and chicken. That's like pineapple on. Pizza, isn't it? It should be against mm. the law. Yeah. Pfft. Deep fried pineapple is a Chinese dessert. That doesn't surprise me, actually. Uh, Su Sue Bates likes banana fritters. Banana fritters are nice. And teabagging. Teabagging? <laughs> she probably does, knowing my cousin. <laughs> There we go. It's official. <laughs> it's official. She's going to slap me when she sees me in <laughs> do August. That. Do that and let me film it. <laughs> Jan Oaks deep fried pineapple with golden syrup. Oh, I ain't had golden syrup for ages. And they just changed the logo after like 500 years. Uh, yes, they have, yes. And golden it, syrup, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you don't like upside down pineapples then, says Suzanne. I actually like pineapple. Yeah, I do. I do like pineapple, but I don't like... You I don't, don't like it cooked, do you? I don't like the word fritter. Upside down pineapples. Do you mean upside down pineapple cake? You know, the sponge. Mm. I don't like that. Mm. 
Fondant is normal this time of year. Fabulous, they are doing great. Not too long now, and the weather warms up a little bit, and they will be out and making honey. They will. They will. Yeah, they, they're actually, they were, they've been out today. All of them have been yes, out Yes, they were. They were busy today, weren't they? Uh, but, yeah, some of them, I've been, I'm sorry, there's a, there's a noise in this studio. What's that? That's really getting on my nerves, and I've just found out where it is, so we're all right. Uh, it's weird. I hear everything the same volume. It's mm. it's it's a crazy thing. So I can hear that clicking the same volume as everything else, and it's just weird because I know you can't, but my head doesn't make sense of that because I can. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Uh, I've got to turn it off. Sorry. Yeah, it's just a fan. Uh, yeah, so so it's like I've been doing, there's this thing called heft testing, which basically is lifting the beehive. And you can you can tell by lifting it how much honey they've got left in their own stores, which they need to eat over the winter. Because honey's quite heavy. Uh, because you can't open the, them up to have a look because it's too cold and you don't want them to get cold. So the best way to do it is just to lift the hive a little bit and you can get a feel of how heavy it is. I've done it in a vlog, in some vlogs last year. Uh, and up until about three or four weeks ago, they were all really heavy. They all did really well last year. But then just in this last couple of weeks, some of them, about a third of them, have just gone. And they've just eaten everything. run out of stores. So we've been putting these blocks of between one and a half, two kilos of, of just baker's fondant on the top. And the bees go up. We just put a little cut in the bag and they kind of take the fondant and, and then eat it and take it back down. And some of them are even going through like a two kilogram block in a week. That's how hungry they are. A two kilogram block of fondant is like maybe that big, that deep. It's huge. And they're going through it like nothing. Yeah, they are. Uh, so I'm having to get, literally go every sort of five, six, seven days and just take the roof, not the not the top of the hive. So I'm not going in the hive. I'm just taking the weatherproof roof off and, and looking at the fondant. And even after a week, some of them are just like empty. So, but yeah, but they're all good. They're all really good. Uh, still yearning, learning. Pineapple fritters, not yum. Not yum. Yeah. No. <laughs> isn't thick set how firm the marmalade is? I think thick set and thick cut is different, isn't it? Well, oh, I, know, right. I know what uncut means now. Uh, I'm partial, a bit it's personal set. trainer. Simply a lovely sight, though. I think I think we've missed something again. Shall we go down to the bottom? Oh, we are near the bottom. Yeah, I don't know what that means. No, I don't. Uh, I give you a side topic to the batter topic. Try a French roll, lattice cheese, cheese coleslaw, fried chicken. That does sound nice. Mm, it does. French roll, lettuce, I think that means. Yeah. Lettuce, cheese, cheese coleslaw, fried chicken. That does sound nice, actually. It does. That does sound nice. Uh, I must be boring. I adore vegetables. Oh, no, I like vegetables. You hate vegetables, don't you? I have to hide them in things and sauces, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't... I don't. Uh, I like vegetables inside me, but not necessarily eating them. <laughs> inside me? <laughs> <laughs> you just farted again. <laughs> I hope you heard that. Oh, oh I'm going to make that God. into a short and a meme. Oh, dear me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. oh, you just got another dislike for that. I think it's <laughs> We've brilliant. got another one. I think it's brilliant. Oh, my. Uh, right. It's made Alfie laugh anyway. He's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what not to do says, uh, Colin, how do I buy a hive? I want to buy one. I click the link to eGift and it's set to £5. Right, let me have a quick look. Uh, well, uh, you do a couple of these. Okay, I'll do some of these. Pizza with pineapple and ham. No, that's against the law. <laughs> you don't put, you do not put, ask an Italian. An Italian will slap you. <laughs> Noddy Brown says, Have you seen YouTubers of men in other countries hanging over cliffs, 
to cut, yes, to cut massive honeycombs. Yes, we have, haven't we? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Yeah, that Very looks, dangerous. That way they're abseiling, it looks so yeah. dangerous, doesn't it? And they're it? just yeah. covered in bees and they're just hacking yeah. it off. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, what not to do? Right, so uh, he was saying, Colin, how do I buy a hive? I want to buy one. I clicked the link to the e-gift and it's set to £5. Right, there, there's the thing. So you can see it is. it does say £5. Underneath it says value and then it says product options. And then if you click that, you can see it opens up and there's all sorts of different values in there. Yep, so all you do is click that one there and you just select whichever one it is uh, and, and it does it from there. So that's how you do it. Ah, brilliant. Ta-da. Ta-da. I love this this screen sharing Yeah, thing. it's ace, it's, isn't it? It does work well. Yeah, it's ace. So. Uh, Sue Bates. Oh, my cousin again. Oh, my God. I've just Googled that. Googled what? I've only got tea a bagging. small mouth. Oh, tea bagging. <laughs> it's official. Right. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Because nobody said that it was Sue that was actually taking them in a mouth. <laughs> what? Does tea bagging not work the other way? No. no. Actually, it wouldn't, would it? I'm just no, thinking about it. No. What would you call that, then? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Blowing up the whistle or something. Blowing up the whistle. <laughs> I can't believe you had to Google that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, brilliant. Lee Marsh, I lads, keep up the good work. Yay. Thank you. We will try. You haven't offended. It's Lamb. I thought it was. I knew it was. I just used a different name to my husband. Oh, yeah, we did that, didn't we, for ages? Yeah. And then we decided to just join forces. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I've got something in my eye and it's not my finger. I see that Robertson's Marmalade now have Paddington Bear on their jars now. Ah, right. I didn't know that. Alf, I, don't I think that's due to the Queen. I think Alf is laughing at me farting. Yeah, there They're we go. They're all laughing look. at me farting, look. Sean farted. <laughs> we all heard that. <laughs> Kelvin and Kendall heard that. Carl heard it too. <laughs> Kath, we all heard that. Oh, Everyone my. heard that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Colin, courgettes or cucumbers? I think it depends how relaxed you are. I think you have to be more... <laughs> You have to be more relaxed for a courgette, don't you? Than no, a cucumber. cucumber. Courgette's only small. Yeah. Is it? Or yeah. is it the other way around? Oh. My grammar sucks, but yeah, you'd love that roll. It does sound nice. It does yeah. sound nice. Farting is simply baking air biscuits. Get them while they're still hot. <laughs> oh, dear. Mark says it's one way to get rid of the trap wind. <laughs> oh, dear. It's definitely not trapped. Every <laughs> cucumber in Scotland is now worried, says Michael Brown. I've heard Sean fart in Alfie Barlow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear me. I'd like a hive. Uh, yeah, links in the video description. Yeah. If you fancy yes, that. Uh, can Sean fart again while you look? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't do it on command. I used to go to school with a lad that... I'm not going to say his real name, yeah? Uh, but it's it sounds a bit like Ian Charlesworth. <laughs> Um, he used to be able to fart on command. Really? Yeah, he used to, and I don't know how he did it, he used to kind of sit there as if he was trying to force, like, air in, and then he would fart, and he could fart on command, like, unlimited. But I mean, you've it, always got gas in there, so he's probably just pushing it down. No, he could, he could, like, uh -huh. yeah, he used to say that he could, like, get air in, and I don't know how. I don't know. but Can't. I, I, I don't know, but he used to be able to do it on command. Uh, Kit Kat says that part Italian here. Uh, I think we'd all like a bit of Italian in us, won't we? Some... It's, it's part Italian and he loves pineapple on pizza. Didn't get that, did he? No, I didn't. I weren't. I, I, didn't, said, I, didn't I, get I it. said, wouldn't we all like a little bit of Italian in us sometimes? Uh, unfortunately, I love pineapple on pizza. Something wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon says lip smacking. I don't know whether she's talking about pineapple pizza or your anal lips slapping <laughs> as you're farting. <laughs> I think he's the second. Can we say anal lips? <laughs> no, not is really, but you call? said it. Why is it on a lady that they're called flaps or lips? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are bum ones called? It's a... Sphincter, isn't it? Sphincter. It's a sphincter. That's, a, that's actually a medical term. Yeah, how many F's in sphincter? None. <laughs> how long did it take you to think? Thorns beehives are made up the road from where I live. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. Go, go and pick us up half a dozen. <laughs> what? 
Uh, Judith's going to, to Google teabagging now. Oh, Judith, no, don't. Uh, Sue, I, I'm sure Sean's got an opinion on this. <laughs> no, you're not pure and innocent. I know. Uh, we all, They heard it all the way down there, so Steve Grubb. <laughs> Cheers, Steve. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Please uh, let the doggies in the scene. Uh, Steve Frischer uh, says that teabagging would be no good for me. I'm a leaves-in-the-pot type of guy. <laughs> Preferably Yorkshire Gold. Please don't Google it then. <sighs> One of my mates used to light his. I've seen videos of that. Yeah, I've seen videos of that, James. Yeah. Not safe. It's not, is it? Well, it won't be for you. I think mine. Uh, you know when they throw, what's it called? They throw that kind Jeez. of... Jeez. You all right? What's up? It's just my tinnitus. It's really loud. You know really, what? It's like switched on. You know when you get uh, like bits of metal, is it potassium and you throw them in water? When you were at school, I don't know what metal it is. Yeah, I know what you mean. And it mean. used to go. Pfft. Yeah, I think that's what would happen if you lit my farts. That, that what's what happened inside. Mm. Yeah, God, can you imagine if they were like blowback, like a backdraft inside? Yeah, you can. You can get that. You can do damage. I'd have what's it called? Not terminal velocity. Terminal velocity. What's it, <laughs> what's it called? What's it called? Backdraft. No, not backdraft. Uh, where you burn. Oh, there's a name for it. Spontaneous combustion. Yeah, spontaneous <laughs> human combustion. You'd come home one day and I'd just be like there with nothing, just ashes and my feet. That'd be mad, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, it depends how big the Scottish cucumbers are. Oh, dear. To be honest, it, it's not really how big the cucumber is. It's It's the kind of how sturdy it is, isn't it? That it don't kind of collapse in on itself. That's that's what you got to. When I'm feeling them up in the co-op, I'm just feeling for rigidity more than I am for size, aren't I? That's the face you pull in co-op as well. Yeah. He walks off to look at the yogurts while I'm doing it, don't you? <laughs> Ooh, five for a fiver. Let the wind go free. Yay! It, oh, I think that's a. Is that a rhyme? Let the, let the wind go free. Where ear you be in church or chapel. Let it rattle. Oh, that's good, that. They rattle when you're younger, don't they? I notice as you get older, they turn more into a, like a... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a young person's fart is very like... <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. But as you get older, it's more like, oh, my God. And you have a quick feel, yeah. don't you, just to make Shall sure... Shall I go sit on the loo to yeah. fart? When you're in bed and you're not quite sure and you kind of put your finger down. Oh! Just... It's like... Come on, let's change the subject. Sorry. Uh, Lynn Bishop says, trying to send an e-voucher from Thorns, but even after I put your name and Fox's Afloat email, it still shows us as the recipients. Well, that sounds a bit dodgy, doesn't it? I don't know. Let's 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 have a look. And uh, oh, I th I th I th let's have a look. Uh, I, 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 I don't see anything from you, so that's probably why. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. As, as the recipient, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. I'll have a look at that while while we're doing this. Uh, the polite term is trouser cough. That's correct. Uh, Jenny says, I, I know you don't like advice, but you are you all right? <laughs> My legs are but you good. might want to keep your head above the duvet. Is it called a Dutch oven, is it? When that happens. Something like that, yes, I think. Farts are innocent enough unless you follow through. That's what we. That's what we said, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you had a colonoscopy? They oh, this is one for you. This I've had a few. Go on, I'm going to. Yeah, just... I've had a few. Have you had a colonoscopy? They tell you to pull your muscles up to check your muscle control. Maybe that's <laughs> I was able to fart on command. Yeah. Um, well, I pull my muscles up all the time. Not having a prostate, I have to work on my pelvic floor. So I have to do that all the time. Uh, having prostate cancer and adding it removes, you've got to do that. But I have regular colonoscopies, don't I? Yeah. Because of my prostate cancer and stuff like that and other things. and Chocolates. We'll not go into chocolate starfish. Oh, it's what people call them now, isn't it? Because we're yes, a little bit behind. because we're on about... Yeah. Who's Mangina? Mangina. All right. Uh, Mangina. <laughs> Mang Mangina. Mangina. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
Uh, it's usually sulfur in farts that explodes. I must have a lot of sulfur then. That, yeah. that must be it. Simon, it's that same that same thing that uh, that that they did, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, never trust a fart when you're over the age of fifty. He's, Correct, he, Sharon. Yeah, Correct. He, yeah. He, well, no, I learned that on behalf of him. Don't I? <laughs> Every time he he kind of stands up and it's well, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> Is Sean sitting on a set of bagpipes? <laughs> uh, Steve Fisher, I had a friend whose granddad was a vet. He chain-smoked a pipe, lost his eyebrows once when he was working at the back of a cow, and it farted. Oh, he got a jet oh of ignited God, gas in the real? face. Oh, my goodness. Oh. No. Yeah, they. Yeah, theirs are uh, pretty potent. Oh, no, that's terrible. Uh, James Bagnall, my wife, Christy... I started farting when she bends over and it makes me laugh way too much. Oh. Oh, no. What have we started here? Why can't oh, we talk dear. about nice things? Lynn Bishop, my friend had a saying when she was very busy that she was busier than a cucumber in a woman's prison. Ooh. I've heard that one, but I think I heard it was in a nunnery. Have you heard that one? I've heard both, yeah. Busier than a cucumber in a nunnery. Yeah, I've heard both. Uh, Katie Rich is here two minutes before Hello, we're... Hello, Katie. We're, we're about to finish. Yeah, we're going home now. We're about to finish. Oh, you'll have to go back and watch it all again. Going home. <laughs> we're <laughs> going home, yeah. Hello, Katie. Hello. Uh, we had to use a tin bath when we were kids. A fart in a tin bath is amazing. Oh, I can imagine. I bet that proper vibrates. Me grandma, used, me, me dad's mum used to have a tin bath. Yeah? Yeah. My dad had his prostate out too. Yes. So did Sean, didn't you? I did. We have a photograph of him holding a cow's heart in his hand. <laughs> yes. And we told everybody it were his prostate. They believed it. Well, that is an enlarged prostate. <laughs> Hello, James. Hello, James again. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, mate. Are you all right? We haven't spoken to you much tonight. You've been quiet. It's been very quiet. We have answered. A, we have mentioned him a couple of times. I bet he's been watching, I don't know, Too Hot to Handle on Netflix or something. You reckon? Yeah, no. I reckon. Uh, we don't need booze to make us happy. We have everything we need, says Patricia. There we go. Lynn Bishop, am I banned from the wedding now? No, we've only banned two people. No. <laughs> Sean laughs when... <laughs> we can't talk about that. Uh, but no, you're not banned. Hope you're well. Yes, we're very We well. are well, thank Better you, Better than we were last week, anyway. Uh, I, sorry, Sussex, I can't read that one out. Uh uh, Piper says, "Yeah, got to love these ex those exercises. Are oh, you talking pelvic floor exercises? It's good to see you're good after that. Yeah, I'm good, but yeah, I'm forty and I have them. Have what? But reminded, but reminded of how Pel the doc said floor. pull your pelvic. pull your muscles up. Pel yeah, yeah, pelvic floor. Yeah. Uh, Jenny Mallon Squeeze. says gift card sent." Had me as the recipient too. Let me know if you didn't. Oh, or let me check then. Uh, Jennifer Malon. Oh, let's have a look. Yes, it's just come, literally just come through. Thank you awesome. so much. Awesome. So uh, is it Lynn that was talking about that before, about being the recipient? It looks like it's just a glitch on their website, but I have definitely got that. So even though it says you're the recipient, I've, I have got that. Thank you so much. Malon's Honeycomb Hideout. That's an amazing name. Wow. That's a brilliant name. Oh, I can't wait for all these new hives this year. Yes. We're, we're going to have beekeepers back. Beekeepers back? It's a thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a thing. Thank you, Jennifer. Awesome. Susan says, sorry, hi from Buddy and Susan. Is that Isla in South Carolina or Isla? Isla. 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 I don't know. Judith found out. I told you not to. I told you not to. <laughs> to do it don't come with this face when i told you not to do it go make yourself a horlix put radio four on in the background don't turn us off yet i'm gonna shall i let the shall I let the pooches in if you want yeah why are you wanting to wrap this up mm. okay like uh, when does the Amazon thing start later this year probably late this year early next year I come think. on then come round here uh, have you got ours, says Come Sharon on. Bamba? Let's have a look. Come on, dear. It's tough, boys. Colin. I have. Colin. Thank you. On the side of his head. Ticks. The ticks have started early this year. Tick. 
Oh, There's boy. a tick. That is a tick. There you go, look. I don't know if you can see that on my thumb. Kill it. I'm going to kill it in a second. There you go. Come round here then. Come on. Come on. There you go. You can see Colin. Uh, come on then. Hello, boys. Oh, yes. You're good, aren't you? There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, ticks. We saw one on Otis earlier today, which is the first yeah. one I've seen this year. And then swine. That's another one. So we're going to have to be careful now and start watching for ticks again. They are treated for them. Yeah, but we're not. That's the thing. They can they come in on the dogs, and then hello, yeah. sweetheart. Does he not? Is he is he weeing? No, he's not. Okay, because he's not been out, has he? He went out at seven. No, he hasn't. He went out at seven o'clock before we yeah, started. Just so. check that he hasn't piddled down there. No, he hasn't. I can see damp spots. No, you can't. You didn't let me finish, but that's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me. Uh, the recipient gets a receipt emailed to them. Yeah, we do. We do. Uh, Judith has Swedish vodka instead. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Alfie Bellows ewing at something. Oh, yeah, ticks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're not nice. That's that's the only thing I don't like about... Uh, about Scotland. Scotland. Worst kind of tick, those that carry... Uh, Lyme disease. Yeah, Sean got Lyme disease. I got it. Two years ago. Two years ago from a tick bite. Can you do anything to repel them? Not really. The repellents don't really work. You just have to protect yourself against them and just yeah. watch out for them. The dogs are treated. They're treated every three months, aren't they? From now till probably the end of October, November, we'll basically be just checking ourselves. If you find a tick on you, there's only about a 5% chance of getting Lyme disease. Yeah, so I them. was unlucky. So he was unlucky. And we've both been bitten a few times by them. But we kind of check ourselves nearly. I check myself every day, and I check shit on now. Uh, if you see one and you pull it out within twenty four hours, then you you won't. You, the likelihood is that you won't get limes. It has to be attached to you for about twenty four thirty six hours before it can transmit lime into you. Uh, so if you pull it off within twenty four thirty six hours, you're normally okay. Uh, but yeah, you just I'm got to, as well, Alfie. Yeah, you just got to keep your eye out for them. Uh, but yeah, they will come back with ticks nearly every day. Yeah. But luckily, uh, Otis is blonde, so we we see them on him anyway. And uh, Ollie's white. And Ollie's white. Well, a lot of him is white anyway. Yeah. Right. Uh, we're going to wrap this up because Sean's legs are aching and the dogs need to go out for a wee. They do. So uh, we'll wrap this up. Uh, there will be a vlog next Friday. There wasn't a vlog last this Friday gone because Sean was, I was away. away. Uh, so we, we are doing one for, for next Friday. And Saturday live will be back next Saturday instead of Sunday. Yes. So everything back to normal next week. Uh, any details that we need to give you? Right, so we are releasing two more wedding invitations. Ooh. So uh, if you want to come to the wedding, uh, there is the uh, QR code that you need to scan. Uh, we're releasing a, a one pair of tickets a week now for the next, I think, two or three weeks, and then that's it, they're gone. Uh, so there's not many left now. So if you're interested in coming to the wedding, either on a whole day package or just for the evening, uh, scan that QR code or go to the link at the bottom, foxesafloat.com forward slash shop, and all the details are on there. There's a package three as well. Uh, yeah, if you can't come to the wedding, but you still want to support the wedding, uh, there is a thing called the guest from afar package, yeah. which is this one. Now treat we, it as a treat it as a wedding gift to us, and then we'll give you some gifts in return, yeah, won't we? We'll give you access to the photo gallery for all the wedding photos and all the photos that the guests take. Uh, we'll send you a photo book in the post wherever you live in the world. We'll send that to you. Uh, you also get some bits and pieces from the wedding itself, so like the menu cards and things like that. We'll send you some of those uh, and some other bits and pieces, emails and stuff leading up to the wedding. Uh, so again that's at foxesafloat.com forward slash shop that's called package three guests from afar uh, that's the QR code if you want to have a look at that uh, and then finally the beehive stuff uh, thank you to the people that have bought beehives this evening uh, if you haven't let us know what you want on the plaque on your beehive I'll be in touch to yeah, find just email. That out. So don't don't worry if you haven't put it in a message. I'll be in touch with you to find out to get that done. Uh, if you want to sort of have Beehive out, uh, detail is in the video description. Just go into the video description of this live chat, uh, and it's just under the wedding details, and it says buy a Beehive. I think that's it. I think so. Thank you so much for your company. You've all been lovely. 
Uh, have a lovely evening, what's, what's left of it. Uh, I'll be carrying on reading these comments after we've gone. Uh, and we will see you next Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. See you later. Have Take care of yourselves. Bye. Ta-ra!